Testing, testing. Okay, here we go. Whew. Oh, this is gonna be a t intense battle, let me tell you guys. I uh, just changed it over to public so people should be filtering in soon. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yep, it's that time of year again. Here we go. It's that special time every three years when teching takes on the uh, final battle in a brand new Pokemon game for the first time. Sees if he can really do it. All right, here we go. I train myself together with my Pokemon. That's cool. All right, I'm just going to take a while for uh, people to filter in here. This is the first one of these uh, live streams that I've actually been able to do properly. Uh, so for people that are new, uh, I do do Pokemon Let's Plays on the channel, about one a year, but not none of the uh, newer games, really. Um, but the last two generations so that would have been generation six when i got pokemon x and then generation seven with pokemon uh, moon i um have a bit of a tradition where i'll play through the game just on my own but i will live stream the finale when i fight the elite four or they're not called the elite four here it's called the champion cup here um you know and just see if i can uh, get through it on my first run through uh or or if i fail on my first run through either or it's it's you know <laughs> it's uh a fun time had by all. Where's your face? Yeah, uh, I don't have video for this one just because it was more of a pain in the butt to do, so. Uh, actually, wait, let me actually. Uh, let's see here. I would like to share this. Huh. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where the share button was. Okay. Let me pop that over on Twitter.
I have to say, the music in this game, man. Um, I still think I like Pokemon uh, X better, Gen 6, because uh, there's a lot of music that was just like the gym trainer uh, music in that game. Team Flare's music was just really, really pumping. Um, Gen 4 was really good, too. Just like the regular trainer, uh, trainer battle theme in Gen 4, the one that you hear like a million times throughout the game in Diamond and Pearl. Um, I've actually downloaded that track and like various remixes of it because of that one. That one's really solid. But this game's music, pretty damn good. Uh, let me pop that in there for the tweets. Okay. All right, now now we're uh, now we're filtering in a lot more people there. Yeah. I think the reason it was not showing at first was because I was streaming for like five minutes on private just to make sure everything worked before I did the um, turned it to public. So, yeah. Gen two music was good, especially with the radio you got. Oh yeah, yeah, and Gen four you got like the uh, the GB tunes, like the Game Boy tunes app thing you got in Gen four, like in uh yeah. Show your team! That's gonna be a secret, but for right now, I can show you my league card. Oh yeah! Check that out! Check out my- and I had to pick the number 101! I mean, come on now! What other number could I have picked? 72? That just, that wouldn't have made any sense. I wonder how many people, I wonder how many, like, little kids were like, <laughs> I'm gonna be number 69. I wonder how many number 69s we had in this game. I'm, I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Piers, Piers had it going on. Melanie! Oh, my goodness. You know what I actually just found out? Melanie is not even in Pokemon Sword. I guess they swapped out the trainers. I guess it's a ground-type trainer in Generation, I mean, in Pokemon Shield, um, Sword, and then it's Melanie in Shield. And I didn't even know that when I bought the game. I just picked Shield because I thought Shield was cooler than Sword. And, um, yeah. But I lucked out on that one. I might have ended up getting a, a, a melon, Melanie-less game. And that, that would have been horrible. Melanie is, like, top type. Oh, Rock. It was Rock type in um, P Pokemon Shield. Sword. Damn it. I actually liked Opal. Opal's little... I mean, she was kind of creepy. But, you know, the whole theater aspect of her gym was pretty damn sweet. I like that idea there. Uh, Alistair, I, I thought there was going to be more to Alistair. Not really. By the way, just as a little, you know, side note, because, you know, I didn't play through the whole game on, you know, I didn't, I didn't stream all of it. Um, I really love all of the random text in this game, like the writing everywhere that's like in the own Galar language. Um, it reminds me a lot of Hunter Hunter, where they created like a whole new alphabet for the world of Hunter Hunter. So in, in Hunter Hunter, you'll see like buildings and, you know, people reading books with like the alphabet on there. We don't really understand what it means. There, it's an easy substitution. You could look to see what it means. But I just like that. It just kind of immerses me a little bit more in the world. Like, yeah, this is a world that has its own alphabet and language and everything. I really like that aspect of it. Uh, Marnie. Uh... Not not sure how I feel about Marnie. She's 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 okay, I guess. For a rival, I guess all right. I I do not know how to pronounce his name. I I do not know actually. Betty. I've just been calling Betty, I guess. Rose or is it Rose or Rose? Not sure. Kabu's whatever. Raihan. I was expecting a lot more from Raihan. I beat the crap out of Raihan, which I knew there was a dragon gym leader in this game and uh that's the reason i actually picked up a ice type kind of preparing for that uh but i didn't think it was going to be as easy as it was yeah raihan was easy as hell nessa was the only gym leader i lost to on the first time i tried i lost to nessa on the first time god them legs though uh i just noticed does she have little life preservers on her freaking sandals like, okay, Nessa. All right, Nessa. Milo is is uh, pretty jacked. Pretty jacked. Or Milo. Milo, Milo. Bead. It's just bead. It's ya boy. But you missed out on Bia or B. She's so fire. Or she's so fine. Yep. 
and then hop. You know, hop reminds me a lot of just like the the um not really rival, more of just like your best friend character from the last game. Uh you know, cheer cheerful fella. I, I will say something about Hop. I, I don't know if I'm not saying he's cheating or anything here. I'm just saying that, like, a lot of times I have to train my ass off here <laughs> with my Pokemon. And he comes up and he fights me and he has, like, these... I beat him no problem. Like, every, every single time I beat him. And then, like, I go into a gym and it's a relatively tough battle. And it's like, oh, there's no way Hop is going to beat that with his Pokemon. And he comes in and he comes right out and he's like, I did it. I beat Raihan. I'm like, damn it, Hop! I I saw your team hop. Your hop is your team is kind of shit, and yet you oh yeah, you beat him right after I did. Okay, hop, whatever. Just the fact that your brother is the current champion, I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. Okay, hop. Uh, that's actually uh, one of my friends that I've uh, traded with, and then we have Leon, of course, who I assume we will be defeating here. So yes, all right. So. I think it's time. I think we're ready. I think we got enough people and got 358 people in here. Teching's roasting Hop. I'm just saying, I've seen Hop's team. My team's just better. And yet, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see. All right. By the way, I'm wearing a pink beret because... Your character is so edgy. I know, right? I love the hair. I saw that option, and I'm like, oh, man, that's total anime hair. We're going with the anime hair and the black jacket and the pink beret. I don't care. My character looks fly as fuck right now, okay? Oh, man, I love this beat. It's like a rave up in here. Oh, yeah, did you know you could do this? Yeah! I love this. Strike bows! It's different every time. I love it. Oh, yeah! Alright. Oh, Marnie's here. I didn't even notice you. What's up, you Pikachu knockoff? What a spin! Alright. Uh, semifinals first. Because, oh yeah, by the way, in case you didn't know, um, yeah, the Elite Four are not in this. It's actually a straight-up Pokemon tournament, like in the anime, which is so cool. And then we have this horrible, horrible abomination upon mankind. You know, this is, like, I want to know both in-game, I guess it was Rosé's idea, like, to make this guy... And also, who was actually in Game Freak that designed this guy? These kids would not be laughing in real life. If I saw, if I was five years old and I saw this guy staring at me, I would be running away in the opposite direction crying. But he gives you balls, and you could always use more balls. And his name is literally just the ball guy. Like, <laughs> come on, they knew what they were doing here. Oh, all right. Just, just give me the ball. Just give me the balls. You're giving me a dream ball. Okay. Give me the dream ball, guy. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back away slowly from you now. Yeah, I, I know what the dream ball. Okay, stop making poses. I, kids, you should really get. Where are your parents? You should really get. <laughs> who are you? No, 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 no. Little boy, you should not be asking who the ball guy is on the inside. You. Go back to your mommy, okay? Go back to your mom and just stay away. Oh, oh, okay, random girl. I will succeed for you. All right, Hop. I'm not sure, but... All right, I, I guess I'll be facing off against you. Let's see here. And, and yes, my name is literally just... Because it's British, get it? It's like England has kings and I'm tech king, so I just went king tech. In the last game, in, in Pokemon Moon, I was teaking. Yeah, so I'm running out of creative ways to spin my name, but all right. Yes, of course. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Changing out of my fly threads for this uh, outfit, but I think, you know, it looks pretty cool. What really sucks is you can buy other gym outfits in this game, but I do not think that you can wear them during the gym matches. At least I tried it. I went and changed out my clothes for, like, the steel uniform. I went in to challenge a gym wearing the steel uniform, and they still said, you need to go change. And I went and changed into this. So I guess this is the default. Like, you can't wear your other uniforms. I At least I, I tried, and I couldn't do it. Can I, can I punch the... Can I punch the thing? All right. Whew. Can I buy snacks? I, I need a Gatorade for this, sir. Only authorized people are allowed to use the Gatorade machine there, son. Back off, please. <laughs> I, I want, I need a Snickers bar. Only Leon is allowed to use the Snickers machine, sir. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. You become the champion. You can have the Zagnut bar. I'm like, damn it. Not even allowing me to hydrate. All right, all right. This is big time. I got to limber up for this. Whew. Come on, got to give... Gotta, oh, I can sit down. Oh, wow. I just... Okay, that's the first time in this game I ever sat down. All right. Whew. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. How do you pose? I'm. You just have to spin. Just spin your heart away. Spin your heart away and you shall find the pose. Yeah! All right. Whew. Uh, and I haven't revealed my team yet, but that's what part of the mystery. So you're just going to see it as we go. Ready? Let's do- I'm glad they let me wear my shades for this, though. That's pretty good. All right. Let's do this. Time to get it on. Oh. This is for you, Mom. And you, Unknown Dad. Oh, I'm going up against Marnie first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know it's been a lot between us, with my big brother y Team Yell helping and all. Yeah, I don't know if that was also that. Uh, also, you might have been cheating along the way, even indirectly. I'm just saying, I think I'm the only person that deserves to be here right now. I spent two days in the wild area, training like a mofo to get here. I'm just saying. Oh, ho, ho. Marty's got some bite on her. All right. Well, let's do this. Hit that beat. Here we go. Let's rock and roll, ghost robot. All right, so far so good. The levelings look pretty good. Let's open it up with the brick break. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this music. I am feeling this music. Damn, damn, damn. Scrafty, uh, dark fighting. We yeah, we can keep uh, we can keep them out. Keep it rolling. Keep this rolling, rolling. Bust out some hammer arm. Boom! Oh, -ho! Scrafty with the whistle. Ooh. Not bad. I will probably die here. Yep. All right. All right, I have a shit ton of revives. Don't worry. Uh, as long as they let me have, I think they'll have time in between. If not, I'm just totally screwed. Um, all right, so uh, let's uh, let's go, Floppy. You know what? I could have really used anybody for this, but she honestly might use a hyper potion, so I'm gonna use bounce. Boing! Can't scare what you can't see. Ooh. 
you get fully healed after every match. All right, so I guess we're good then. That is a little bit hand-holdy, but all right. Toxic Croak, all right, poison type, Sue. Ghost Robot's down, but that's why we got Big Blue. Named after, of course, the water stage in F-Zero on the SNES, of course, absolutely. Dig it to victory. Dig it to victory, Big Blue. Bam! Now, I love this generation of Pokemon games. Like, X was great. Um, Moon and Sun, eh. Not a huge fan. More Peko! Or the Pikachu variant in this game. I wasn't a fan of Sun and Moon, just, you know, just the style. They changed a few things about that. But this one I'm definitely loving. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Marnie, why do you got to be tormenting me here? I don't even know what torment does. Whatever. Evil Pikachu! Ah, oh, yeah. He just said moon and sun. Yep. I, I I go against the standard. Hey, guys, do you ever play Pokemon blue and red? How about silver and gold? How about ruby and emerald? Uh, that's screwing with you right now. I guess it would be ruby. Uh, sapphire ruby? Pearl diamond? That's screwing with some people right now. I know it is. All right, I don't know what she's throwing out next, but whatever. Scoopy-Doo, go! That is the most clever name you will see on my team, by the way. Scoopy-Doo. I am so proud of that. And I'm so happy I get to use a Vanellux. I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Oh, is that the fully evolved form of that imp imp thing? All right, well. Whoa-oh. Oh, no! She's bringing it out. I should have Dynamax Vanellux. Oh, well. The knight is still young. Oh, God, I am so glad it doesn't have a dick. <laughs> oh, God. This would be so terrifying right now if Pokemon had operating genitalia. We all know the way that Pokemon procreate, right? It's the mystery. It's the mystery of the world. Oh, you're putting me to sleep? That's boring. I better not fall asleep after this. Okay, I just got dressed. So it's a super max yawn. Gotcha. Ah, uh, let's see here. I could Dynamax, but I will probably die if I do that. Because, you know. Uh, you know, let's just roll with it. If I get if I get healed after every battle, who cares? Oh, okay, now, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Fall. All right. Well, I kicked your giant skyscraper-sized green goblin with a ice cream code, Marnie. How does that sound? Yeah! I don't know if she's Sundere with my character or not, because she's not really Sundere. She's actually really nice to me. So, I don't know what that's called. When you're the edgy girl, but you're also nice, but it's not like a niceness that's like deep down. It's like you're, you're edgy, but you're also just nice. I don't know if there's a name for that, but that's what Marnie is. All right. So anyway, I'm guessing Hop is next. Whew. Yeah. Hey, Hop. How you doing? Okay. Oh, my God. If Hop is the final match out of all of this, like if we defeat Leon and it's like a, oh, yeah, but Hop defeated me right out right before you did. So you got to fight him now. Your team is on fire, huh? All right. He comes back in like I lost on the first move. <laughs> He somehow managed to knock out all six of my Pokemon with one attack. Damn straight it ended more quickly than you'd figure. Good person? Pseudo Sundere. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with Pseudo Sundere. 
Alright, yeah, so this is my team lineup. We got Ghost Robot, who is a ghost robot. We got Jolly, who's super jolly. The, the name made more sense when uh, she was uh, in her pre-evolve form. Because <laughs> it just looked like a really depressed baby. Sylphina. Fenelux, who is uh, Scoopy-Doo. Cinderace is Floppy. And Dreadnought is Big Blue. And in case we need to pinch hint some things here, one of the many things I love about this game is having the box at hand at all times. Um, we could switch out for um, Vance, who is the Flyer. He's a little bit weaker than the other ones right now, but we do have a level 60 Mantis the Second. Anyone that remembers my Prism Let's Play knows the Mantis, the original Mantis. And, uh, yeah. Funky Monkey. Yeah. All right. Try to strike a pose on the camera. Try to strike a, strike a pose on camera here. Get out of the way, lady. Come on. <laughs> I'm just going to spin around. Come on. I'm trying to stand in one place to do this. Damn it. Yeah, it's not working. I need to be in an open space to do it. Come on! Do the pose! There we go. Let's do that again. Alright, alright. Do it in front of the camera. Do I get extra points if I do it in front of the camera? As if, like, Pokemon games rely on points anymore. I like experience points. Alright, close enough. It's a wide-angle lens. There you go. All right. I thought I could keep track of it on there. All right, here we go. Enough screwing around. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to name the rabbit carrot. It's too obvious, okay? I can't be that boring. Oh, it's a rabbit, and I love carrot, so I'll name it Carrot. That's too simple. All right, Hop. See what you got, buddy. Hop's been a great guy, really, this entire time. I, I really do enjoy him as a as the uh, rival best friend character. Like I said, kind of just very similar in tone and just personality from the last one. Uh, but, you know, pretty good. All right, mate. Let's do this, mate. Come on, mate. You want to do this, mate? Let's mate this up, mate. Mate, 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 mate. You still have that double. Damn. Ghost Robot is going to this up carrot would have to be the electric type that is true yes hammer arm ghost robot oh that's gonna hurt me or not ah oh, damn it uh is that special or regular i think it's regular damn it Hop, I swear to... <laughs> it's like I punched a giant marshmallow. Let's break through those defenses. What about Bugs Bunny? That would have also been a good one. Well, it's nothing I have anything that could really hurt me. I used a go uh, a go lurk during my run through of X, and I had a really lot of fun using him. So, yeah. Here we go. Floppy's level fifty six. Snorlax. Uh, I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep Ghost Robot out there. Normal type. You break out another hammer arm. Sure. I'm slow as hell, but hey, so is uh, Snorlax. Yeah, I'm actually faster than the Snorlax. Fat ass. Bam! Oh, I was gonna say, almost. Now it's gonna rest, isn't it? I'm feeling it's gonna go to sleep. No! High horsepower. Oh! Oh, that did not do as much as I thought it would. I guess because it's some dual ghost. Alright. And I'm still faster than this thing. Damn! Alright. 
I love I'm just summoning this giant arm and just crushing everything Hop has. All of his hopes and dreams are just getting crushed under a fist. Yeah, I should have named the rabbit Daffy just to screw with people. I like that, yeah. Oh man, I forgot. I didn't see what he was sending out. Corviknight. All right. I used a Corviknight for a very long time. In fact, I just swapped it out today, actually, for uh, Sophina. Uh, I don't think I have anything that would be super effective on this thing, so let's just use Phantom Force. I don't think he has anything super effective on me either, but... I love Phantom Force. Whoa! Channeling the powers of ghosts. Peekaboo! Yeah, that did pretty good damage. One more of those should be good. You can't see me right now, but I am dancing. Oh, damn! Poor ghost robot. All right, Jolly. Take the stage. Take the stage, girl. Bring it down. I do not know what that is, but when in doubt, keep up with Jolly. Jolly has honestly been more of a of a carrier in this team. Wait, why does that bug have a butt on its mouth? Okay, whatever. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how that's going to go, buddy. That actually did a lot more damage than I figured it would. Bring it down! Alright, now his starter was the grass one, so Floppy's gonna have to be the one to end this out, of course, just to be all poetic and shit. I think that's the grass one, yeah. No, go back. There we go. There we go. You can do it! What is this awesome music? I know it's incredible! Oh, no, I, I totally have you back to do a corner hop. You're not, you're, I, I don't really think you have any way of winning this, really. Unless you just bust out, like, a level 70 Rayquaza that you just had inexplicably. All right, here we go. Pyro ball time. Oh, you're Dynamaxing. You know what? I don't even need to Dynamax hop. You're not even worth it for me. My sights are on your brother. You're just a stepping stone for this. Oh my god, it's a giant monkey! And the drum got bigger too. I'm just rolling with it. Well, at least you gave me a big ass target to hit. Oh yeah! Right in the face! That's some David and Goliath shit right there. Just BAM! Knocked you right between the eyes with a flaming ball of death. Alright, hop. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Huh, you chose Score Bunny too. Well, absolutely I did. Why wouldn't I? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That was pathetic. Yeah, that's the shit I'm talking about. I beat him with, like, no effort on my part. Really, none of it. And he somehow managed to get all the way here. I'm just saying, I think his brother pulled some strings there. Like, come on, man. He's my little brother. I'm the champion. Could you at least let him at least get into the semifinals? Like, all right, fine. <sighs> Sorry, Hop. Looks like the road is uh, hitting a dead end here, buddy. I thought about going Sobble. I really did. Last time I uh, picked the gr the last two games, actually, uh, X and Moon, I actually picked Grass Starters both times because Rowlet was last time, and I really love Rowlet. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I went with Fire this time.
Bot bean dupe. Oh my god. There's so much posing going on in this room right now. Hey, Leon, what's up, buddy? That's great. All right, we doing this? I'll take you right now. Let's do this, Leon. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Okay, I, I guess we'll go out for a nice dinner first, and then I'll come back and kick your ass. So, you know what I actually love about this game? I actually love that it has a good, decent flow of time. You know? Like, it does. Like, you go out to eat, and you stay at hotels. Like, it feels like time is passing in, like, a genuine way. Of course, that also means that I went from, like, a nobody trainer in the middle of bumfuck nowhere to, the, like, one of the best trainers in the entire land in, like, the span of, like, four days, but whatever. Like, yeah, I start out from leaving my town. Four days later, I got, like, level 60 Pokemon and I'm just beating the crap out of everybody, yeah. Uh-huh. How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Oh, my God, please give me... I'm glad I could beat him. Uh, that's not right. That's not right. Oh, yeah. That's 100% right. Hops over there like, yeah, it, yeah, it was good that you beat me, yeah, uh, uh huh. I'll tell him straight to his face. Oh, oh, come on, game freak, you gotta give me more options than that. You gotta be like, I, you gotta have an, a moment where I just lay my hand on Hop's shoulder and I just, I don't say anything. I just give him a look and just kind of like, uh huh, and then I just walk away. Ah, uh, well, I guess you were the rival you knew you were. In Not as good as me, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I love how these guys are basically just... So, tell me how it feels to beat the crap out of the one that is supposed to be your best friend. <laughs> Those were pretty rude questions. Ah, oh, well. Let's go get some endless shrimp buffet. That sounds like a good time here. Several hours later. I mean, that was some delicious food. Oh, oh, did he chicken out? He chickened out, didn't she? Didn't he? Yeah, he's like, oh, there's no way I could beat this kid. I, I like Leon's like what, like 24? You know, he can't, he can't lose to like a 12 year old. So <laughs> he just he skipped town. He hopped on that Charizard. And he's like, screw that. I'm gonna go to the Shino region or something. I'm not, I'm not sticking around here. Hey, Piers, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I'm smelling some type of side quest before we get to the actual final battle here, which I did not know. But, uh, yeah, we'll roll with it. Why not? The night is young. It's only 9 o'clock here. Oh... Oh, no. Why? I don't want to deal with them again. Okay. Yeah, Team Yell. You know what? For team, what Team Yell is, Team Yell is not a criminal organization. For what they are, just a bunch of glorified gym trainers. They're actually fun. You know? Oh, that's cool. It's a Rosalia. That's neat. Yeah, I mean, for what for what Team Yell are, they're not like Team Magma or Team Aqua trying to like do eco-terrorism or whatever. They're just... They're just a bunch of groupies, really. Alright, let's get this moving. Haha, <laughs> Marnie has to come. Yeah, you're coming because we're like the three amigos, or three musketeers, or whatever. I am convinced she is the main villain of this entire game. I am convinced she is the... She's like in a Final Fantasy VII up in this, like seriously. Oh, so we're gonna have to beat the crap out of you then? You, Khalifa? Seriously, are we doing this? Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, just. Yeah, what? Did they make freaking Triceratops noises just now? All right. 
Gotta make everything difficult, don't we? Team Yell are literally just fanboys for a cute goth girl. I, I mean, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, she totally is Califa. Yeah, no, she is. Like, that's the first person I thought of when I saw Olina. The bad one wearing those six shades. What are we, freaking Chrome from Dr. Stone now? I would laugh if it was the guy sitting right there. All right. They literally all look the same to me. Rotom Super Boost! That old guy right there will teach you your super moves, but I don't have any reason for that right now. Well, free shit on the ground. Someone just dropped a 5,000 piece of gold on the ground in the middle of London. All right, well, it's mine now. All right, I'm not seeing anybody around here, so I'm thinking they're probably just going to be limited to that area. He's in the phone booth. Thank you so much. Nose pass. Good job, buddy. To the Ministry of Magic! Probably not this one. Maybe it's this one over here. Ah, well, that's not a phone booth, but... Is there another phone booth? Oh my god. I'm looking for him, buddy! Alright, this is gonna... Yeah, this leaves the town, so I don't need to be here. What's the worst thing in the game that they have done? Uh, I guess... Um, now, I, I'm not super versed in Pokemon lore. Is this the dude? Yep. Oh my god, I thought this guy... Th this bloke's awfully shitty. I thought he said shitty for a second there. Oh, F's and T's. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know if this has been in other games, but... Okay, so... They changed it so you cannot catch Pokemon that are a certain level. Like, you literally can't, no matter what. The way that it was in other games, at least, was... You could attempt to catch a Pokemon that was, like, level 50 or 60 when you only had level 20 Pokemon. But I think they would always break... It would just be really hard, but I think you could do it. Um, in this game, you couldn't even attempt to throw a ball at them. At least I, I think that is a new thing to this game. It might be in other games. I, like I said, I'm not super versed, so if it happened in other games, I, uh, you know, it's not limited to just this one. But, you know, I, I thought, like, okay, you should at least give me a chance to capture a Pokemon, you know. Because they always said, like, okay, I want to try to catch this level 55 Pokemon, and my Pokemon are, like, level 40 or whatever. And they're like, nope, sorry, you can't even throw the Pokeball. It won't let its guard down. I'm like, oh, screw you. At least give me a chance. So I didn't really like that too much. But other than that, I really liked a bunch of aspects of the game. Let me I'll actually show you my favorite part of the game after this battle if I can, uh... Thank you, Marcy. Oh, my God, you're giving me free cheers. Oh, good, speed. I'm going to need that. When I punch this freaking robot ant into the ground. Um, yeah, but there, one of my favorite aspects of this game is actually in the Pokemon Center. So let me show you that. Um, I think the idea of having the Pokemon box carrying around with you, I think that was introduced in a previous generation. I feel like I did use that a lot when I was playing uh, Moon. Um, I don't think that's new to this game. Maybe it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But that's also just... It just makes things... It doesn't make hard things easier. It makes annoying things simpler. That's what I would say. Uh, like, the whole idea that you had to go back to a Pokemon Center every single time you want to swap out Pokemon. 
They just, like, just let you have that whenever you want. And if it lets me free roam here, I can show you another part of this game that I love. Gov. Also, the British terminology is definitely warmly welcome, because I'm a fan of Doctor Who. Alright, so when I first walked into a Pokemon Center, right... You see Joy here hanging out, and obviously they merged the Mart and the Pokemon Center into the same thing. Like, I think in Generation 5 they made that merger, so that's nothing new. I expected that. This over here, I thought it was like a Starbucks at first, you know? But no. Do you know what this guy is? If you haven't gotten the games yet, you obviously don't know. They combined the Move Deleter, the Move Reminder, and the Name Raider into one person, this guy that is present in every single Pokemon Center. And that, like, won huge points for me when I first played this game, when I first booted it up. Because I'm like, man, it's not like those things are hard. It's just in every game, every time you want to change your Pokemon's nickname, there's only one person in the entire world that's capable of that. And you have to find, you have to search the entire world trying to find the person... And the same thing with the move deleter and the move reminder is always the one that's the pain in the ass because you usually need a heart scale or something. You have to trade him something to remember moves, but now you can remember moves whenever you want. And like I said, making, you know, just annoying things simpler. So, for example, like, um, like we have Jolly here. Jolly had a move called, uh, I think it was Overcharge. And... I had it for a little while, then I decided to get rid of it. It was uh, Overdrive, sorry. and But I can switch that out with Discharge whenever I want. I kept Discharge because Discharge does, um, I think, a little bit uh, less damage, but not much. And also Discharge has the option to Paralyze, where Overdrive does not have that. Um, but Overdrive does get a boost from the Punk Rock uh, ability that Toxtricity has. But yeah, so you can swap these out whenever. Yeah. So, I think it just makes it easier. I do not play competitive. God, no. So, that was something that won huge points for me. Just having this guy handy at all times. Alright. So, I, I don't even know what we're doing right now. We got the key or some bullshit. I guess, okay, we have to go find something now. Yeah, I already caught them. Well, I already caught them. You were there, Marnie. You were cheering me on. I rode him. Didn't I already beat him? Didn't I already get the thing? I guess I got... He ran away. Ah. Oh, is it going to be one of those things? Oh, man. I hate these. Like, I gotta beat them, like, five times in order to get stuff. Oh, ho, ho. That's a weird way to interrupt the championship. Oh, I, I hate when you have to do stuff like this. I hate that. That just grinds things to a halt. All right, Eric. Bring it on, Eric. Ghost Robo item. Ghost Robo actually has um, Klutz. So he actually cannot use Hell items. That is why I do not give him an item. I don't have time for this shit, Eric. I have a champion to destroy. I don't have time for your crap, Eric. Excadrill. That sounds like Big Blue's territory. He'll be in the phone booth after this fight. Thank you so much. I, 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 yeah. Feel that flow. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the flow, Marnie. Okay. Hermione. Oh, wait. Is her name Marnie? Because Hermione is like, uh, I don't know. Okay, here's a question for you Brits out there. Is Hermione like a common name? In England, I, I guess it probably is more of a common name ever since Harry Potter came out. But even before that, was it like a common name? Because that was the first time as a kid reading the book. That was the first time I ever heard the name. Oh my god, I was going to use a water move and I used a, I just ended up using a ground move. But it was still super effective. Yeah. Err, dang nabbit. You kids. Okay, Boomer. Are we done now? Oh my god. 
I am gonna bury you under my... You know, my ghost robot weighs 700 pounds. Just saying, buddy. This better be the last damn time. Oh, now it's... Wait, he... Uh, oh my god. He keeps changing his name. Hi, Pharaoh Seed. What's up? You're new. Haven't seen you yet. Pharaoh Seed just looks really sad right now. Hammer him! Hammer him, ghost robot! Ow. That mildly irritated me. Only four, only 700 pounds teching. He's on a diet, okay? Ooh, iron barbs. How are iron barbs supposed to hurt a ghost robot? Because I remind you, he's a ghost and he's also a robot. Steelix. All right, floppy time. I actually have a few other items I could swatch out. I could swap out for Jolly. I have a poison barb and I also have black sludge. Do 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 do. Pyro ball it. All oh, right, between the eyes. Dropped. All right, are we done here now with the menagerie? Oh, would somebody grab this idiot already? Piers, don't you have like that, like obstacle or something? Just you send out obstacle to like scratch face apart and take the key. We gotta get moving here. Oh my. So is this going to be the switch where it's like Rosé was like evil this entire time? Either him or like his secretary were like the evil masterminds behind whatever the hell's going on here. Because I'm feeling like that's going to be the case. Yeah, Piers, you're the adult here. You take care of it. That takes talent. To, to pull that out of your pocket. <laughs> yeah, let's do this, Pierce. Summon Exploud to just literally bring the house down. I was actually really surprised he did not have any of the, uh, the, uh, Whismer or, you know, no, uh, Whismer or Loudrin or Exploud in his lineup. I know his, I know it's a dark type gym, but still, I mean, it fits the aesthetic. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god, that, that cake back there looks delicious. I want some of that. I'm gonna order this after I'm done defeating whatever the hell is happening here. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Headbanging zigzagoons. All right. Oh no! A group of five to eight people! We can't possibly stop that! This is how you solve problems in a PG universe. I, I would have summoned freaking Toxtricity to just electrocute everybody, but okay. Sure, that works too. Nah, let's go. We got it. Piers, why do you always walk like a zombie? That could not be good for your posture, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Piers. Let's get this over with. I got a championship to win. Uh, excuse me. Yes, we're here to uh, beat the shit out of your boss. Oh, okay. 12th floor. 
Oh, I get it. His name is Rose, and there's roses. Ha 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 ha. I don't need dying, Max Hop. I don't rely on cheap tricks to win. I'm just naturally awesome. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that is kind of threatening. I'll give it to you. So Olina is literally on the loudspeaker being like, Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Alright, here we go. Get ready for the gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. Elijah! So, like, what are you, Amish or something? Fear the rumble. Of my arm! Ow. You know what? Kill me, because you know what? I have a better option here. Thank you! Oh, his music's not even that threatening. I'm not even gonna use fireball. I'm not, I mean, flamethrower. I'm not even gonna waste pyroball on you. You're not worth it, frankly. Ah, oh, quadruple level up. Nice. Goopy doopy doo! Oh, I hope they only have one each. All right, I'm assuming, yeah, they're gonna we're gonna defeat them sequentially and have to go level by level by level, defeating trainers as we go, Team Rocket, Sylph Company fashion. Gotcha. I love that logic. I just realized the language is really not that hard to understand. That was clearly the... It was clearly Rose, just written weird. Oh, okay. We're not doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. How many floors do they have? Here we go. Oh, a female. I didn't think I've seen the female variant of the League dudes yet. All right. What's up? Kufant? The hell's that? Oh, it's the elephant thingy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. I like the elephant. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, this isn't the best matchup for Jolly. Hmm. Well, we could do... Kufant is, um, steel type, I believe. Don't think Kufant is ground. It looks ground, but I don't think it is. Yeah, that doesn't work. All right, I'm gonna have to switch out here. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch out here. All right, uh, let's just use Floppy. I'm stuck in the last battle. <laughs> Pokemon has changed so much. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, if you're playing this game right after, like, Gen 1, then may God have mercy on your soul. I mean, it's crazy, though. It really is. Because I remember playing my first Pokemon game. It was Generation 2. I got it for my 8th um, birthday in 2000. I think Double just got his soul sucked out. <laughs> but, um, hey, man, it was so... Maybe 2001, it was. Yeah, maybe it was for my 8th. Uh, yeah, I was 8. I was 2001, yeah. Um, I got my Game Boy Color, and I remember sitting there and just playing that game all through the night. It was such a fun game. And now here we are, uh, 18 years later, still playing the games. Loving it. The only generation I kind of skipped over, I didn't play at all when it was first out. Well, I did play it, but not the mainstream games. It was Diamond and Pearl. Um, I played, um, you know, uh, Ruby Sapphire and Leaf Green, but I didn't play Diamond and Pearl. 
Then when Heart Gold came out, that was obviously a remake of Gen 2, which was like 10 years old at that point. And uh, I was in high school uh, then, and my friend Casey was playing it. And Casey's actually the one that got me back into Pokemon. Because uh, we were in class together one day, and she's like, Hey, did you hear about, like, Soul Silver and Heart Gold? And she had the little Poke Walker on her and everything. And I'm like, yeah, I remember playing Pokemon, and that's how I got back into it, really. And then I I didn't play Black and White when that came out. But after that, ever since uh, X came out, that's that's been my Pokemon ever since. Channels helped it out, too, by the way. Imagine not playing Sinnoh. I hear Gen 4 is amazing. I hear the Sinnoh reason is amazing. It's great and all that crap. I just, uh, just never really, um... It, it was it was at that time in my life where I was kind of like, yeah, Pokemon is for kids. And it was at that point I also cared about what was for kids and what wasn't. I'm a teenager now. I can't be seen playing Pokemon games. And then you get to a point where you're like, oh, right, nobody gives a shit. Oh, my God. Do you have life insurance? Did you say do you have life insurance policy? I, I do. So thank you for being curious. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> Are you going to kill a bunch of 12-year-old kids here? Not cool, bro. Looks like Steel Type is the name of the game on this one. These guys like Steel, don't they? For fighting for a guy named Rose, you're using a lot of Steel Types here, Bruskies. Hit him! High horsepower! Crank that horsepower up. Yay, Ghost Robot leveled up. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Shift gear! Gear for the... I like the music in the background, but it's more calming than it is, like, threatening. Like, yeah, you're just two friends beating up a organization. Whatever. Who cares? It's not that threatening. Oh, just barely. Oh, lock I love the lock-on animation, too. Like, the cling-clang is like, exterminate, exterminate! One more brick break should do it. Or the dub wool can body slam. Whatever. Yeah, we're good. Smush. Almost at a thousand viewers for a Pokemon stream. Not bad. I just realized they made an insurance company the main enemy of this game. And for that, Game Freak, I thank you for the symbolism. It would make more sense if it took place in America. Do, do, do! Are we at the top of this goddamn building yet? All right, you know what? I, you know what I should do? I should just ask these people, like, okay, do you have any Pokemon higher than level 55? No, we don't. All right, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. There's no point in even fighting me right now, then. Let's see what they got. A Stun Fisk and a Steel... What is with all the damn Steel types in this place? Oh, God, you're not even level 50 yet. Get the hell out of here. I'm gonna high horsepower this Stun Fisk through the freaking floor. Body Slam! Oh, that thing is flattened. I mean, even more so than it already was. Down, down. Oh, down, down, down. You know what this actually sounds like? This sounds like the music that would play, like, for the ending credits, you know? The art director was Akiro Ashito, or whatever, you know? Like, high horsepower, this Steelix. Ah, damn it. I did not know you could paralyze through bounce. Or maybe that might have been the Stun Fisk's ability. Alright, screw this. I'm, I'm switching out with Floppy. They like to steal, so they use steal. Ooh, reversal. Be careful! Poor Stunfisk. 
Stunfisk is a pretty sad looking Pokemon, if we're being honest here. Gotta hand it to that double wool. It is a freaking tank. Burn it to the ground. All right. I'm feeling this is it. I wonder what's in this building. Like, are they all offices? Do they have, like, an indoor spa? Do they have, like, an indoor shopping mall in this tower? Luxury goods. Pokemon sex toy operations. Oh, it keeps going! Okay, finally! Damn! Oh, I knew it. She's the main villain, isn't, isn't she? She's gonna do it, isn't she? She's gonna have she's gonna have Rose tied up in a chair or some shit. About to throw him over the side of the damn tower. I'm I'm feeling it now. Aw oh, man. Oh, she's gonna turn around. She, she's gonna have a messed up face, isn't she? She's gonna be like. Oh, oh okay, no, it's as bland as it always was. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Go easy on the caffeine, lady! Jesus Christ! Alright, tell you what! Oh, wow, I misinterpreted this completely. Okay, so... She's not the evil villain, like, tying up... No, she's like... This is gonna be the spin where she's, like, in love with Rose, isn't she? But she has to play the role of, like, the very... Stoic, level-headed, uh, secretary... But in reality, like, she's like, no, 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 oh my god. The perfect analogy to this. You know who she is? She is fucking Palm from Hunter x Hunter. That is her. Like, she's like, she can look very nice and normal, but she goes home at night, every night, rips off her clothes, and just, like, like, just lies naked against a giant painting of Rose while she's just, like, licking it, like, I love you so much! I want to be with you forever! Like, that... That makes sense now. Okay. Um... Tell you what, I am gonna go and get a drink because I am out of a beverage here. I will be right back. I'm gonna leave you with this image as her body is, like, vibrating. I will be right back for you to uh, question your existence. Oh. Oh, man. Do it. My mom's downstairs. I'm like, yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be a long night working on the Pokemons. Alright. Uh mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Wait, you're a ten-year-old boy. Just take her out on a date, like like uh Gone did in Hunter Hunter. That was like that episode was actually a really good episode because the the, the date with Palm episode. It starts off with Mirwem arriving at the palace and just killing everybody. And that was a really cool scene. And then it ends with Kilawa fighting Ramot and realizing that Alumi put the needle in and his nature and what his relationship to Gonin is and everything. It's just in the center, you do have this really weird scene where, like, I think Gon is, like, 12. Like, a 12-year-old boy is going on a date with, like, a 28-year-old woman. And, yeah, that is a little weird, you know? <laughs> She's got a big-ass forehead. <laughs> um, Kilowa was ducking amazing in that episode. Yeah, I think it's the next episode when Kilowa, like, removes the Neville. But that, ep that episode was, like, when the fight started and you had him, um, you know, watching and, like, spying on their date and everything like that. 
Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. All right, you're not going to let anybody... You're not... I will not let anyone harm Ro-senpai! Oh! Oh, no! You've just unlocked... You've, you've Dynamaxed the Yandere. Oh, God! If I beat you to pieces, the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart! In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Okay. Oh, oh, lady! Lady! I saw you coming as the main villain of this story a mile away, but I did not expect this angle to be the one that you were going to go with. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, now she's back to being all cool again. Oh, man. She's like, I will destroy you! Okay, go, Frostlass. All right. Uh, yeah, I I'm going to honestly switch out... Um, Ghost Robot here. I really should have left out Floppy, especially since after all the damn... Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm switching this out. This is this is not going to end well. In fact, I bet this thing probably knows Hex, which does more damage if you have a status. So I guarantee you this thing's probably going to have Hex. She doesn't seem scary enough. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this evasive shit. No, no, no. Oh, don't you start with this, lady. I swear. I swear to gulping right now, man. Let me melt your face off, lady. Oh, it got a crit, that's why. I was gonna say, that does pretty good damage. There we go! Kick the flamethrower in her face! Yeah, alright, now we're on track. How cheeky. Alright. Alright, what's next? Milotech, alright, pure water. Well, I got the cure to what ails me on that one. I have bad luck with Milotechs. I'd like to see Milotech Dynamax. It'd probably look pretty cool. Oh, yeah, she's probably going to end this fight out with a Dynamax. I guarantee you. They made a point to... Oh, not bad. They made a point to bring it up that you can... Uh... Oh, yes! Yes! They made a point to bring it up that she can Dynamax here. So she's going to end the fight with that. So I just have to keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, she's water-related. Califa, Suds. She is Califa. She is 100% Califa. Salazzle, isn't that, um... That's fire, right? Go, Big Blue. Yeah, that's the fire type from, uh, a low one. I have three moves that are all super effective on this thing, but we will go with liquidation. Just because I love saying liquidation. Are you ready to join the liquid nation? You are not worthy. Oh, shake it off, Big Blue. I have no idea what that is. Saranin, Sarania. Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, okay. That does pretty good damage. We could just keep doing that. Trop kick? The hell's a trop kick? Oh, a tropical kick. Oh my god. I didn't even think that was a damn grass move. Yeah, but I got Rocky Helmet, so screw you. But yeah, a Trop Kick. I get it. Oh my god, that is so stupid. I love it. Tropical Kick. They're really, they're really starting to reach for those Pokemon moves, aren't they? <laughs> Let's make a physical grass move. Trop Kick. Alright. Yeah, Fwoppy, level 58. 
Garbodor, poison. Uh, Ghost Robot would work here, but he is burned, so his attacks are going to be halved. So, oh, lady, you are, damn. How, I mean, her Yandere powers are so intense, they are making her hair go crazy back there. You see that? Better buy a burn heal. You lunk of garbage. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you're gonna waste- You have all your beautiful Pokémon, and you're gonna waste the Dynamax on a literal pile of garbage. Oh, God. Oh, no! It's- Oh, wow. A boat and a plane are- And a skyscraper are lodged in him. That is actually a really cool design. All right. Rock- Oh, that's gonna hurt me. That's gonna hurt fa ah! Oh man. Look at that giant substitution toy in there. A car. Floppy, no! You hurt Floppy, you son of a bitch! I have no sympathy for you now! You crossed a line, lady. You crossed a line! Ghost Robot! Digivolves to... Max Robot! Oh man, this is a kaiju battle for the ages right here. No! You cannot defeat the robot. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah! I mean, come on now! The, the Dynamaxing thing, it's gimmicky as all hell, but it is fun as shit to have giant kaiju battles with your Pokémon, alright? So yeah, you can call it a gimmick. They probably won't use it in the next games, but it is fun as hell. It's way more fun than the Z moves. I I think it was I I get even more fun than the Mega Evolutions, honestly. Just the fact that you're making giant kaiju versions of your damn Pokémon is incredible. And we learned Earthquake. That's a win all around. Yeah. High horsepower is more Mudsdale's thing anyway. Now we got Earthquake. Now we're totally locked in. Good job, Ghost Robot. Good job, buddy. <laughs> now she just... <laughs> I love this lady's range. Okay, that do she doesn't even look sad there. So much, like, that's the look you would get if, like, you went to McDonald's and they were out of, like, your favorite order. Like... Not McDonald. Like, this would be like... Okay, you know what the expression here is? Okay. Um, a few weeks ago, Taco Bell, which I eat at Taco Bell every now and then. Taco Bell had these crunchy, cheesy gordita tacos or whatever. They were super delicious. They had, like, this, like, crunchy, cheesy shell. And I went there the other day, and they were out of them. I guess they stopped the promotion. They don't have them anymore. That's the face I made. The face I made was just like, uh, all right. I guess I'll get something else. I guess I'll get the... Crunchwrap Supreme or whatever. So she went from being the calm, collected secretary to like, I will never let anyone hurt my beloved to like, uh, all right, I guess I wasn't able to beat you. Whatever. All right. I don't care. Man, she rides the emotional roller coaster, I'd say. Damn. I really did. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Those little, those little gordita things? God, they were so delicious. That's a Sunday afternoon face. Oh, no, yeah, it totally is. Like, uh, I'm bored, but I don't want to do anything. That's the kind of face she made. You and Go Lurk are unstoppable. Yeah, because I have a ghost robot. No, you didn't. Screw you. You did not do it for your for that chairman's goals. You, you, wanted, to, you wanted to do some stuff to the chairman. Uh-oh. This is getting, this is getting emotionally. Well, I'm going to take a picture of this. This is getting... 
Okay. What is it? Oh, is it going to turn out like the power plant? Because the entire city is like a power plant, like Hammer Hammerlock is. Is it going to turn out like he's mining the planet dry and they're almost running out of resources or the Dynamax phenomenon is going to bring about like the end of the world or the end of the country or something like that? It's probably going to be something like that. Oh, is this a climate change message? That... Good job, Pokemon. Damn. I mean, Pokemon has definitely touched upon some more serious subject matters before in the past, but I'm guessing I'm getting a definite uh, climate change issue here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit, it's a climate change message. Damn. I don't even care that this entire thing is being told in still shots and not in animated form. Okay. Hey, what's up? We just beat the crap out of, like, everybody that works here, plus your secretary. So, what's the haps? I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Well, why don't you let your Pokemon have the discussion? I bet, I bet, like, certain, um, political decisions get solved a lot easier in the Pokemon world. Because imagine that. Imagine if it's like, you know, I want to pass a bill to... Um, you know, help, you know, mitigate emissions. And like, well, I don't want that bill to be passed. And then you just have a Pokemon battle and whoever wins gets the bill passed. There you go. It's at least a more, uh, it's at least a more expedited. I'm not saying it's the best system. I'm just saying it's a more expedited system than the one we have. The decisions get solved a lot quicker in the Pokemon universe. All right, so wait, wait, we're still going out to dinner? I'm hungry, man. I want that bottomless shrimp. Oh, yeah, the coral bleaching thing from Corsola. Yeah, I remember that, because Corsolas are white in this version. I was wondering why they were the colored white. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think he's a bad guy, but I think he's going to do something really drastic that's going to result in some serious fuckery. Like, seriously. Alright. The next evening. Alright, are we, are we back to the championship now? Are we doing this? Damn straight. Alright, here we go. So, just to repeat everything that we just did, we literally went through all of that crap, found a key, had to fight a guy three times in a row, went to a tower, fought against, like, a bajillion freaking members of this league battle, got to a Yandere, had the final boss fight there, and also, we could ask Leon to take us to dinner. So, we were hungry. Well, alright then. I, okay, alright, you know what? I'm not even mad. Let's just do this. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, lady. Let's just let's just get this done. Yeah, don't they have literal grimers and mucks that can just eat pollution? Or are grimers and mucks like literal pollution? Ah, uh, there's some Pokemon that can absorb. You know, we're good. Now nah, I'm not taking the crow copter. I'm uh, gonna take the long way. Thank you very much. I love this town. And by the way, it took me a lot longer than it should have to realize that Windon is London. Windon, London, Windon, London. Yeah, it, it took me a lot longer to realize that than it should have. It, it should have been, like, the first thing you think of, but... I never admitted to being the sharpest tool in the shed, now did I? Alright, here we go. I wonder if we could do... Can we do spinny tricks on my bike? No, we cannot. Hop, how the hell did you get here? Alright. Yeah, you came to watch me. That's great. 
Yeah, we've already been in there, buddy. We, we already know it's awesome. All right, let's do this. The final countdown! Finally! An hour and a half into the stream. Let's do this! Yep. Oh, yeah. Feel that beat. Oh, Melanie, how you doing, girl? Twenty-nine potions, nine super potions, nineteen hyper potions, twelve revives, six max revives, thirty-five full heals, ether, elixir, one each, five max potions, one max elixir, ten full restores. All right. I think we will be good. I'm going to give the Black Sludge to Jolly, because it works basically like a Shell Bell. And also, on the off chance his opponents, anybody has, like, the Steel or the Frisk. I don't think Frisk works for but Steel or Snatch, if they have an ability like that. That would, that would give them a nasty little treat. Uh, Sylphina already knows Psychic. Flare Blitz, not worth it. Blaze Kick, not worth it. Uh, don't need dragon moves. We have Scoopy-Doo for dragons. Big Blue can learn Mega Horn. And that is a physical move. Hmm. Let's get rid of Jawlock. Do I have a dark move? Ah. Uh... Is there anything in the game that's only weak to dark? I don't think that's the case. Um, cause... Yeah. Pretty sure her name is just Melon in Japanese. That makes it even funnier. Meron. Ghost. Um... Psychic. Normal and Ghost are weak to dark. Well, we have fighting moves for normal. We have Psychic for... We have Ghost for Ghost, I mean. Do I have any other dark moves? Because I love Mega Horn. Mega Horn's a great move, and Big Blue is physical. It wouldn't get stabbed, but still, it'd be pretty good. I should tack on the Assault Vest to somebody. Tack on the Assault Vest to Big Blue. Actually, who has the weakest special defense in the party? Let's let's check that out here. Let's see what we got here. Let's let's just take a look at the party and see what we're working with here. One last run through. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, ground and ghost. All right. Um, in terms of special defense, Actually, everybody seems pretty good on special defense. Uh, Jolly has the lowest, but even then, 95. Not bad. Everybody seems pretty well-rounded. Sylphina's speed is shit, but beyond that... Yeah, Jawlock is the only dark move we have. The only thing Bug would really come in handy for is Psychic, but we have Ghost for Psychic, so we don't need it. It would just be cool to have, but whatever. I have been making a few smarter decisions, like paying attention to like my Pokemon, like, should I teach this Pokemon a special move? No, because their special attack is shit, Matt, so you shouldn't. But the name sounds cool. Alright. Alistair, you ready? I don't care about any of you. Melanie, hey, you ready? Okay. Just letting you know. I'm gonna take you all out. Damn straight. Who's gonna lead? I don't know who I'm going up against first. Scoopy, go first. You play out the uh set up a hail. We're gonna play this we're gonna play this smart. Let's do this. The pitch. Oh, I should give the assault vest to Sylphina. 
I gave her the shell bell, but she already has draining kiss. She doesn't need that. Oh, yeah. That would be a smart idea. All right, Sophia. <laughs> I'm tacking on in a, a SWAT assault vest onto a freaking fairy type with no arms. All right, now, who are we going to give the shell bell to? Ghost Robot can't use it. The shell bell heals you. I wish Ghost Robot. I would definitely give it to Ghost Robot, but he has klutz, so he can't use it. I won't give the shell bell to anybody, but I think I will give the scope lens to Floppy. So you can be a little Vegeta cosplaying Floppy. All right. I'm happy with this lineup. We got uh, Never Melt Ice for Scoopy-Doo. Um, Black Sludge for Jolly. That'll heal Jolly. Sylphina's tacked up with the Assault Vest. Floppy has um, the uh, Scouter. And that increases critical hits. And Big Blue has the Rocky Helmet. Make Jolly go first. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, I wanted to set up a hail, but I'm assuming you're telling me that for a reason, so... Would berries work for Ghost Robo? I don't think berries work, but you could still give him stuff, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's give him a lumberry. I don't think it'll work, but we can give it to him. All right. Wait, before we do this. Okay. Gotta get psyched up. 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 Do it. Do it. Do the thing. I can't do the thing. Screw it. Let's do it. Nessa is the first opponent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, actually, Vanellox would have worked better for that, too, because Vanellox has a move called uh, Freeze Dry, which is actually super effective on water moves. I love it's like a 12-year-old kid and a bunch of 20 and 30-year-olds. Melanie is like in her 40s, I think. Is Opal here? Because Opal's like 70. No, Opal's like 90. Opal's like ancient. Now what? Oh, it's Betty, isn't it? Yep. Yep, Opal picked a successor, because I read that in her uh, little bio that she was looking for a successor, and then she just conveniently takes Betty. Or Bade. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I still think that's kind of messed up, you know, like, he tried to destroy precious ruins, and then, oh no, you just come here and become the next gym trainer, you're a gym leader, you're good. I guess rules are rules. Rules the rules the. All right. Yeah, I, I really don't care why you're here. I'm kind of jealous of that outfit, though. That outfit is pretty fly. It has a very 90s thing. There was a there was a period in the 90s where pink and blue, like, that, like, turquoise shade of blue, like, was, like, the high fashion for some reason. So I guess Pokemon, I guess it's a 90s franchise. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that was a Keenro reference. Good job. I thought you said Nessa was the first one. You lie! All right, fine. Let's do this. All right, well, I'm gonna have to switch out anyway. Actually, no, no, because it's part fairy. I, I always think of Mawile as just steel type. That's why. Oh, you're intimidating me, huh? All right. Ah, <laughs> good thing Venice Shock is special. Oh, right, because it's steel. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, get your crunch in. All right, was it worth it? All right. 
So uh, what do you guys think? Think I could do this? Think I could get through in my first run? Without anybody dying? I don't know what the highest level Pokemon I'm up to deal with here. I'm feeling like Leon's is going to be at least in the 60s. Alright, now we're getting where it's going. Now we're going places. Betty looks like in a wrong car with the number out front. Actually, kind of does, yeah. Alright, one Venice Shock should be enough for this thing. Sorry, Gardevoir. Oh, good job, Gardevoir. Oh, yeah, okay. Ow! Alright. This is getting off to a great start. Go, Scoopy. Freeze dry is an awesome move. Yeah, I got a crit. Gardevoir is queen of rule 34. Oh, yeah, she is. 100%. Rapidash. Oh, this is the Galarin Rapidash, though. It's a fairy. I haven't seen this yet. I'm actually interested in seeing what this looks like. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Let's see what we got here. Oh, well, that's majestic. That is a majestic unicorn right there. Ow. You psychically cut me with your horn. Oh, yeah. Brony alert! I guess the Bronies would have some fun with Rapidash, wouldn't they? Well, it's dead now. Elegant, but not yet to be. Are right, you going to end this out with a Dynamax? Oh, a Hatternane. Well, let's see which one's better, yours or mine. Mine has tack to an Assault Vest, so we'll see where this one goes. I love how they have no arms. All right, mine's slightly higher level. Oh, right. Ah, damn it. I forgot it did that. All right, whatever. Yep. Oh my god. That looks like a giant squid. I know it's not a squid. It just looks like an alien piloting a giant squid robot. Alright, here we go. Kaiju battle time! Hey, that's, uh, how, that's not fair. How come yours looks different than mine? That's weird. Oh, because you're Gigantamaxing, right? That's like something different, yeah. Well, whatever. Smite. This will be a battle of the gods! That just all happen to be fairies. Oh, I know you, Sylphina. I know you got this, girl. Yeah! Punch it! Make the battlefield misty. Swirl it, yeah. It's the same move. Oh. Sunlight turned harsh. Come on, Sylphina. Yes! I knew you got it, girl. Crit that bit! Oh, yes, Sylphina! 
bring in the Starfall! You got this! I feel like we can do this! I feel like we can do this! Yes! Break the- Oh, just don't hit yourself and we're good! Yes! This is the girliest battle ever and I love it! And then it explodes! Oh, yes! Sophita, man! Absolutely gorgeous! Who does your hair, Betty? Alright! Now I'm gonna switch out that assault vest because I can't use Calm Mind with that thing on. I mean, it's a cool thing to have. I'll just, I'll just give her the Shell Bell. Make her an HP tank that just recovers from Draining Kiss plus the Shell Bell. Yeah, that's that's great, Betty. I, I understand you have a character arc here and everything, but I, I'm just trying to beat the champion here. That's good. Yeah, don't don't give up. Always persevere. You know, your dreams are never lost. Second chances, all that nonsense. Okay, let's do this. All right. Good God. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. everybody. We go back to the locker room. I high five. Come on, everybody. Yeah, Betty. Oh, my God. That's great. Okay, great. Now, Jolly. Jolly. Good job, Jolly. Sylphina, you are magnificent, Sylphina. Got confused. Didn't get hit. Didn't get. Didn't hurt herself. Three turns in a row. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay. Can we do the victory pose? Yep. Hit it. I keep thinking I can look at this chart to see like where we're at. Am I allowed to get a goddamn drink of water over here? I'm not the rice people, sorry. I just won, like, a match. I'm in the finals. I can't get a free bottle of water? Sorry. There's only three bottles of water, and they're all for Leon. Damn it. All right. I'm assuming Nessa is next. So I'm going to keep, um... Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I, I want to go with the Vanellux Gambit here. Because I want to use that freeze-dry move. I have it for a reason. Plus, Nessa's the only gym leader I lost to, so... This is a rematch. A rematch of a rematch. Here we go. There we are. Hey, Nessa. Hey, girl. Nessa is... I mean, she damn fine. She's very athletic. I mean, yeah. She reminds me of Kia from Atlantis The Lost Empire. You know, the revealing midriff, the uh, blue in her hair. All right, Nessa. Oh, look at the leg, damn. Let's do this. I'm gonna beat the shit out of your team with an ice cream cone, Nessa. Freeze-dry this fish. <laughs> Nessa, this isn't personal, but this is personal. This is 100%. Oh, Seeking. I know what you're going to try. You're going to try to horn drill me, aren't you? Well, I'm a higher level than you, so that's not going to work. You want some freeze-dried fish, though? Save forever in the freezer. <laughs> Fear the ice cream cone of death! Barrascuda. That is a great name for a Pokemon, by the way. Barrascuda. Probably one of my favorites of this generation. You can't liquidate an ice cream cone, girl. You can try. You're gonna fail, but you can try. I am a master of the freezer! Body slam. Oh, Big Blue wants to learn it? Uh, no, not really. I mean, body slam's not a bad move, but... Eh... eh I, I don't need it. We don't need to worry about that right now. Pale of 
Pelipper. You're ending it out with a Pelipper. Is that her last Pokemon? A damn Pelipper? Pelipper! Here comes the Drizzle. Now two left. All right. Yeah! Pelipper! Oh, man. I am devastating her. Not, not in that way. All right. I'm feeling like something big's going to come here. Yep. What's it going to be? I'm thinking Milotech. Dreadnought. This might be quad effective on this thing. If freeze dry is super effective for water types and it's still an ice move and it's ground. One way to find out. Giant ice cream cone. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I would love for free ice cream to just fall on the entire crowd right now. Like, all the rain turns to, like, a slushy. <laughs> you know? And they just, yeah. Well, I gotta do the kaiju battle. I know the effect doesn't stay in battle, but I gotta do the kaiju battle now. I have to. That's the first time I ever saw Dreadnought uh, Gigantamax, by the way. Looks pretty good. Oh, wait, no. Didn't she use it in her gym battle? Damn it. I should have stayed non dyna But we gotta do the giant battle. I mean, we have to. No! My hubris! My hubris was my downfall! No! <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Huh. Alright, Jolly, take care of the final round here. Just finish it. I don't have time to look at this thing. Whoa. I mean, I'll tell you what. The grandiose, like, the scale of this battle, really crazy in this generation. Like, I feel like I am in the middle of a giant, like, stadium, big final battle battle. You know what I mean? This should kill it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, an electric poison type against a rock. You know why? Because freaking Toxtricity is punk rock. No! I got Rocky Road ice cream. And the winner of the comment challenge is that person. Rocky Road ice cream. Good job, Jake Wagner. Good job, buddy. You win. I wonder if there's an option to ask Nessa out on a date now. I am still like a 12-year-old kid. That is probably not right. Well, I don't know how old she is. She could be like 15. I don't know. All right. Whew. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, Scoopy-Doo. Hey, you really, you carried that. You took out five, you took, how many Pokemon did she have? Five? She had five or six. You took out like four or five Wh whatever he took out all but one all right uh who's next i didn't look at that can i look at that chart again sir i still cannot look at that chart can you tell me who i'm up against next i guess whoever wins the next battle i don't know yet but i'm pretty i'm sure it's predetermined i think milo was on there whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep freaking scoopy-doo out it's Alistair. Alistair's next. Okay, so she... Nessa is five. If she's 12 and my character is 12... 
But, you know, I don't even know how old my character is. Because usually I always think of Pokemon, like, my character in Pokemon games is 10. Because Ash Ketchum is 10. But I think in the last few generations, the characters were, like, teenage age. They were, like, 14, 15. No, not that. Okay. Uh, who hasn't really had a lot of time to shine here? Sylphina, you go out in front, girl. You haven't really had a lot of chance to shine here. Plus, if it is Alistair, Ghost, and Psychic... Wait, no, Ghost is strong against Psychic. Shit. Um... Eh, well, I have a shit ton of Max Revives. Let's just do it. Not that it matters, because you heal after every fight, so that's, that's kind of hand-holdy, but whatever. I will say, I like the idea of the tournament... It's a good idea, but the fact that they uh, are just recycling the gym leaders is kind of, you know. They did the same thing in, well, they did the kind of the same thing in Sun and Moon. Because you do fight against some of the gym leaders again in the Elite Four there. But, yeah. Say Scoopy-Doo. Scoopy-Doo. Alright, Alistair, let's do this. You weird, creepy ghost man. Duskinor. How was my day? Pretty good day. I had dinner with my dad tonight, and that was fun. And now I'm doing this. I also made a video for tomorrow. So geography is everything. It's about minks, so it should be fun. I don't even know what anticipation to... Hold on a second. I've never even... Oh, a Pokemon can sense an opponent's Pokemon shoot. Oh, alright, that's that's cool, I guess. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. She has all of the power. There we go. All right, we're going on at a good pace here. Just don't get a crit and we should be all right. Maybe. Shell Bell. I just noticed none of these trainers are really using Hyper Potions or Full Restores at all. Oh, one HP left. That's not fair, man. That's not fair at all. Hmm. All right, no, she's winning this. Screw it. She deserves this victory. And she's getting it, dang it. Yeah, do your little shadow punch shit. Ow. All right, I should be able to take another one of those. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, good, good, good. As long as you don't get a crit, we're good. All right, yes! Sophina deserves this. I gained one HP. Good job, Sophina. You earned that. Chandelure. Fire Ghost. I think it also has Levitate. Does it have Levitate? Well, guess we'll find out, won't we? Ghost Robot! It does not Levitate. Well, it's clearly Levitating right now, but does it have Levitate? Oh, you're gonna do this bullshit, aren't you? Real trainers don't use status. Oh, okay. It's levitating, but it doesn't have levitate. Fair enough. And you only survive that because you burn me. Now you're going to use hex, but you know what? I'm not going to give you the freaking chance. Because guess what? I brought a burn heal. Didn't expect that one, did you? You damn candelabra. Oh, no. Shadow ball. Okay. Whoa! I'm going to die. Unless it uses Will-O-Wisp again. Nope, I'm dead. No, not Ghost Robot! 
Ghost Robot dies a lot in this, I've noticed. Discharge it. Discharge it all! Alright. Moving on at a good pace here. Poltygeist. I love that. Poltygeist. God dang it. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's a plan. Two, two stage plan. Stage one. Poison it. Badly poison it. That's stage one. Okay. Black Sludge. Stage two. Venoshock. Extra points because it's poisoned. And it still did not do as much as I thought. Oh, shit. We need to kill it now. We need to kill it now. No, 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 no. You're not nasty plotting me. Nope. No, no, no. You stay away from that nasty plot. <laughs> that demented little tea kettle has my freaking number now. Has me clocked. We don't have time. We don't have time for this shit now. Discharge it. Kill it. Now. Yes. All right, good. That thing was gonna... Sneak into my bedroom in the middle of the night and, like, take out a knife. English tea is in effect a Cursula. Isn't it still technically a water type? Like a water ghost? Oh, God, that's sad. Now that I know that's, like, dead coral, that's really sad. No, I didn't want to... Ah, damn, I didn't want to use Boom Burst! Well, it wouldn't be a stream if I didn't mess up the move at least once. Alright, I guess that's not too bad. Because I think my... Discharge is a special move, I think. So I guess lowering my attack doesn't matter. Yeah, we're good. Alright, that's not too bad, but still. Uh Oh, good, 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 good. I guess it's not... Aw, oh, crap. Now we need to kill this thing, too. Oh, I love Gen 8. Yeah, this is a great game. I really enjoyed it. I just realized we did not catch the legendaries yet, so I guess I have to go back to the Slumbering Weld and do that later, or um, that might be a post-game thing. Because usually you catch the legendary before you do the Elite Four or the Champions or whatever. These battles are getting a little harder, I gotta tell you. Moving along in a nice little clip here. That's probably going to kill me. Yep. It's coming soon. It's the post-game. I gotcha. Is Sylphina going to be faster than Coral? Does Amnesia increase your speed? Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because Sylphina's speed is shit. Let's just go floppy. Because apparently it's not water type, because Electric didn't do anything to it. Yep. All right. Oh, that's going to be his Dynamax. That's going to be... You know what? I'm just going to roll with it. Here we go. How lonely. How frightening. Reminds me of Aznut from freaking Bleach. All right, here we go. I love Gengar's ultimate, his his Gigantamax. It's 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 really creepy, but it looks awesome. Yeah, giant rabbit. Oh, I love how he does the scream. Swallow every. I, I imagine Alistair's voice is like a really nasally like. Swallow everything in the darkness, Gengar. Do it now. Oh. I'm a hungry. I'm gonna eat ya. 
Oh my god, it's like a black hole. It's like a void. It just sucks everything in. Max Flare! Eat it, Gengar! Oh! Not enough to take it down, but one more of those and it is out of here. It's literally Ace versus Blackbeard right now. The irony is not lost on me. Do it! Oh, I love how they explode. That just adds an extra layer to it. Makes no sense, but... Alright, let's roll with it. Looks cool. Alright! Alistair defeated! Yay! Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong you are. Yeah, maybe you should take that thing off, buddy. Well, not in this one it didn't. I won this time. Ace died. I'm the one that won. Sun beats darkness this time around. That was Ace. <laughs> oh, man, I should have screen capped that. Damn it. That was so porkest the Ace, what you just did just now. All right. I'm guessing... Okay, let's look at, take a look at this here. Um... So, I'm going up against Raihan as I figured... Oh, why Raihan beat Milo. Milo. Man, that's a surprise. Uh... Okay. Aw, uh, Melanie... Melanie lost to Alistair. Screw you, game. I should be going up against Melanie right now. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. All right. Yeah, Raihan's really not as strong as you're making him out to be. I fought him once, and let me tell you, listen, I beat him on the first try. All right. Battle with a dragon dude, which means we need some extra helpings of Scoopy-Doo. Okay, gotta just limber up a little bit here. Come on. I can't do it until I do it, you know? How am I supposed to win this if I can't pose? There we go. Yep. All right. Does this game have cheat codes? Uh, I mean, like, I'm sure if you're good at hacking, it does. All right, here we go. Get off your damn phone, Raihan. This is a serious battle. Can you imagine if, like, in an actual soccer tournament, if some or football tournament, whatever you want to call it, some, like, the professional athlete, and I don't know who they are because I don't watch soccer or football, but can you imagine if, like, the, like, professional athlete came out, like, just screwing around on his phone the entire time, not even paying attention to the crowd or whatever until it was time to game? Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 I don't think people would just get behind that, you know? Get off your damn phone, Raihan. Time to kick your ass for the second time. Let's do this. Raihan, <laughs> you arrogant. <laughs> I do love the fact that the phone floats. That's a Rotom. I love that. All right, guys. Hey, guys, you know what uh, rhymes with death? Ice Beam. Ice Beam rhymes with death. Oh, you know what? All right. But not right now, because I am not an idiot. You smart bastard. You knew that was coming, didn't you? You knew the ice type was coming, didn't you? Yeah, that is not a dragon, Raihan. It said clearly in the in the pamphlet, you use dragons. That is not a dragon, sir. Turtles are not dragons. I don't care how you spin that. You will now be liquidated. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is really going to hurt if that hits me. 
Oh, because the sunlight's harsh in that one turn! Ow! Alright, fire and fire then, I guess we're doing. I'll give it to you, Raihan. But you know what? Drought's worth both ways, buddy. Drought's worth both ways. And I know it doesn't have flash fire, so BAM! Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll get you out of here before I fall asleep. Don't worry. Oh, I hate you so much, Raihan. This match is insane! This party's getting... Oh, fuck. Come on, Floppy. All right, hold on. Let me shove some smelling salts up your rabbit nose. All right, you know what? I have an idea. Sunlight faded. Good. Now, before you can use Sunny Day or something else, hold on. I'm going to double-edge you. Oh, this crap again. Can't use Bounce. That'll take too long. Yeah, you're like the fifth person to say, why didn't you name your score bun a carrot? Because that would be too easy. It would be too much of an obvious thing, and I didn't want to do that. All right, looks like we're finally using the first full restore of the night, ladies and gentlemen. You're letting him flex on you too hard, man. Oh, I can't take this. I'm leaving. I just walk out of the stadium. Just fuck this. I hope Double Edge would kill it. Damn it. Man, this turtle is built like a tank. All right, as long as it doesn't heal again, this should kill it. All right, yeah, we're good. Damn, this is only his first Pokemon. He had a good setup for this. Not bad, Raihan. You're a lot better than the first time I fought you. That's for damn sure. God dang. Flygon. All right, Ground Dragon, which means Quad Week to Ice. Unless it's some weird Galarin variant. Actually, no, because I know he's used fl uh, Flygons before, and they weren't different, so... Yeah, this, this, you'll definitely be feeling this. Alright, see, now that's a dragon. That's clearly a dragon. I mean, come on. It looks like a dragon fly, therefore, a dragon. And. Ice Beam! But also faster than ice, but also used Sandstorm instead of an actual attack. So. Freeze it! Oh, yeah, that didn't take very long. And I could use Hail next turn to get rid of all this sand, so that's not a problem there. I'm boofeted. I got boofeted, guys. Turtonator. I am the Turtonator. I'm looking for Saracana. All right, let's get rid of that sandstorm first off. And I have ice body, so I heal in the hail. All right, let's get rid of that first and foremost. Okay. Oh. I hate you. You want to make this a... Oh, you want to make this a contest. You want to do this now. Oh, okay. Ha yeah, I do, actually. Raihan, you do not know the lengths I'm willing to go here, okay? <laughs> yes! There it is. That's it. 
So I love that uh, Sandstorm doesn't hurt it, but a little bit of Hail does. I get it, it's ground type, but even so, damn. Haha, <laughs> y'all laughed at me! Y'all laughed at me! Oh, yeah. You know what? Doesn't even matter at this point. You want to waste your turn on that bullshit? Go right for it, buddy. I don't think Shell Trap... No, it doesn't. We're good. All right, there we go. He's not a dragon trainer. He's a weatherman! Gudra, that is definitely 100% a dragon. Oh god, it's dripping all over the battlefield. Ew. Have some decorum, Gudra. Uh, 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 okay, that actually helps me out a little bit. At least it doesn't weaken my ice moves. So, thank you. Uh, okay. So basically what you're telling me is you are wet right now, Raihan. You are in fact wet. That's interesting. Alright, well, you know, bye, Gudra. He really is a weatherman. Yes! And uh, coming up at uh, 5, we have the local weatherman, Raihan Dragonman. Uh, I don't know what that is, and I don't care. Here we go. What is it? Bring it out, buddy! Ah, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, Max Hailstorm! Do it. Oh, uh, you had to take the selfie first, of course. It's a damn skyscraper! Oh yeah, it's Dragon Steel. Well, is it still off weak to ice? Because Steel's not weak to ice. It's, I don't think it is. I don't know, man. I'm not a pokey expert, okay? I'm just gonna hit it with a giant ice cream cone and hope it dies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Two scoops. Now, 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 now. Giant ice cream cone versus giant... Giant ice cream cone versus giant skyscraper. Freeze it! Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think we're gonna be getting out of this one. Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't gonna end well for me here. All right. Well, at least we go out swinging. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's weak to ground then. This calls for Ghost Robot! Ghost Robot. Hey, oh, and Earthquake is in effect. I mean, not, I mean, uh, Sandstorm's in effect, so if I can... Oh, wait, no, but it's also steel. Wait, does that hurt me? I guess not enough! Alright, if this hits... Damn, its defense went up. But I have Earthquake plus Sandstorm. Oh my god, that thing is a tank. Okay. Alright, well, at least that bullshit is over. Ow. Ugh. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Sandstorm doesn't boost anything. Nah, it does in my mind! It boosts ground moves in my mind, sir. 
All right, Raihan, that's... I look at little, little, little Rotom in the background, like, sad for his master. I'm like, I'm sorry, Raihan, I know you wanted to win. Nah, it's whatevs. Okay, that's great. I'm not taking a selfie with you. Okay, let's let's just let's just move this along, okay? Alright, here we go. We're finally here. Okay, so that only took a lot longer. It took about two hours, eighteen minutes longer than I figured with this stream, but we're here finally. Okay. That monkey is Okay, so they basically just ripped off Donkey Kong. Still. Pretty cool design. It's your fault for not picking Sauble. Postwick. I love the names of the towns in this place. Stow on side. Hammerlock. Postwick. Postwick. Great. That freaking ball guy. Alright guys, here we go. Leon. I know he has a Charizard and that's pretty much all I know about him. As for the Charizard, I mean, we have, uh... I guess Jolly could be the, you know, fly. What is, what is Charizard weak to? We got water. We got electric. So, I mean, I guess that that's, that's the best we got for his Charizard. He's going to Dynamax the Charizard. I know that because he's the Dynamax Charizard was in all the damn promotional art. So I knew it's a Dynamax Charizard. So, um... Uh, we also have... Oh, it's four times weak to rock. Okay, well, we got Big Blue here with uh, Rock Throw. Do we have any really OP rock moves we could teach it, though? Because Rock Throw is not bad, but we could do better. Do we have any really... We have Rock Slide. That's 75, 90 physical. Well, let's see if it's better here. Oh, that's way better than Rock Tomb. All right, let's get it lock. Let's get rock slide for big blue here, and that'll get the stab bonus. All right, I guess our best option is going to be big blue. Uh, I could teach it hydro pump just for this battle, but accuracy is shit, and liquidation is way better accuracy and 100 accuracy and 85 power. So, I mean, hydro pump clearly has better power, but I think the risk of the fact that unless I give it a dire hit at the beginning of the fight, unless I do that, or an X accuracy, I mean, at the beginning of the fight, surf is better, is it? Okay, liquidation, physical, 85. Well, see, here's the thing: Big Blue's uh, attack stat is way better than its special attack. That's why I teach it that. It's only five better. And like I said, because just because liquidation's physical, because let's take a look at this here. Yeah, its special attack isn't. Oh god, its special attack is horrible compared to its regular attack. Yeah, it's almost a hundred points weaker. Yeah, I'm sticking with liquidation, hundred percent. All right. See, this is the thing. I'm actually paying attention to special attack and real attack. This, normally, I would go with Hydro Pump because I'm like, Hydro Pump sounds cooler. But I want to win this. I want to be the champion. I I would ask what the first thing that he sends out is, but you know what? I don't want to know. I'm going to lead with... um. Let's lead with... I'm going to lead with Jolly. I'm just, I'm just feeling leading with Jolly. I don't know what he's going to send out first. I don't want to know. Let's just do this. I'm just I'm not looking at the comment section. I'm just running in, and we'll just see where this goes. Full disclosure, I have like 15 goddamn revives and 6 max revives, so I, I could literally revive my entire team at full health. So, I don't think we need to worry about this. Hey, Leon. Leon has been a pretty damn cool champion. Hey, he's been following you around. I like the angle of him being Hop's brother. So he's a pretty cool character. Very supportive and everything. Like, he's the awesome champion, but he also knows that it's like, hey, there's going to be the next generation coming up, so I should also prepare for that, too. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. I just realized that was less of the Elite Four and more of the Elite Three plus one champion. Oh, oh, no, no, not stupid crap. No, don't do stupid crap. Just get to the damn fight. Oh no, I don't like that music. That sounds like villain music. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, buddy. Okay, so it's gonna be a Chernobyl. Holy shit, it is Chernobyl! Well, we're all dead. Uh... Can we still have a... Damn it. Oh. Hop, I am not in the mood right now, okay? Yes! Oh, my God. Couldn't he have waited until, like, literally five minutes until after the fight? Uh. All right. You can just, just try, Hop. Just try. What can you do? You can throw out a sheep. That's what you can do, Hop. That you can do the same thing you've done up till now. Yeah, I, I get it. It's there was a dark day, and there was a guy. And... All right, I guess now we're doing the. Uh... That's a we that is a weird way to structure that. Imagine that. Imagine playing Pokemon Red, and right before you get to Lance, I mean, uh, before you get to Blue, it's like Lance is like, wait, you first have to go back to Celadon and catch Mewtwo before you can fight the champion. I'd be like, huh? Why not just fight the champion now? We're right here. Hi, Mom. What's up? I am almost became the champion, and then blah, 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 but whatever. Anyway, I got a pink beret. How you been? Yeah, a nuclear reactor is basically going critical right now, but yeah, we can hang out. By the way, Sonia. Sonia's, uh, she's got nice hair. Really nice hair. Yes, I'll stop the dark day. Yeah, we're going to sort it for the shield and sword Pokemon. Oh, I got nine max revives now. Okay, thank you. That's basically slapping me in the face and saying I can't handle this, but okay, fine, whatever, I'll take it. Bye, honey! Hope you don't die in a nuclear death and catch this legendary Pokemon! Oh, I love how our... I, I just love the fact that the house that we grew up in was right next to the fucking dark forest that houses the legendary Pokemon of the game. Like, we literally lived right next to this dark forest our whole life. I love that. I love the work you do. Only reason I got One Piece. Thanks for bringing me into this awesome community. Well, thanks, man. I mean, yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's go catch the damn thing. Let's catch the thing and save the... I don't have time for you, Rookadees! Shield Pokemon, where are you? Get your shield ass out here! I got a championship to win. Oh, Rookadee, you messed with the wrong guy on the wrong night. Rookadee, level two Rookadee. If I could Dynamax you right now, I would. Let this be the lesson to the rest of you. You stay out of my way. Actually, you know what? This is the first time in the game I've ever used one of these. Because with the overworld feature of the game, I've never had to use these, but... I am using... I do love the music of the, the slumbering well that is pretty creepy. Where is it? It's not in balls. Where am I? I know I have at least a regular repel in here. There it is. It's in battle items or other items. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that poor little bird. 
Oh, man, I just love listening to this music. It's very peaceful. It brings me back to a nostalgic time, you know? I can almost remember it like it was yesterday. I got Pokemon Shield and I came home and started this adventure. Last Friday. That was already last Friday, can you believe it? Five days ago. And now here we are. Wednesday night. <sighs> Memories. Memories that'll last a lifetime. Hurry your ass up, Tekking. You got a championship to win. Whoa! Okay, side side quest. We're catching this Galarin wheezing. Side quest. We're catching the smokestack wheezing. All right. Uh, Dusk Ball, go! Please just catch it so we can move on. Good. 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 Damn it! No! <laughs> Fudge. Finland! I say, sir, I dare say I will self-destruct in your face. Indubitably. I'm an English gentleman. There's another one over there. Yeah, that's handy. Hey, Muna. And really expanding the slumbering world, aren't they? A lot of Munas and a lot of wheezing. Ah, oh, now I have to grab that. Pokemon rule number 55. You see an object, you gotta double back to get it. Yeah, that would have been handy, like, a long time ago. Oh, I get it. They're wolves. The legendary Pokemon are wolves, and it sounds like wolves howling. I get it. Okay, maybe they're werewolves. Oh my god, is that going to be the freaking... I have not looked into the end of this game. I really haven't. This is the first time I'm playing it, just like you. Is that going to be the damn twist that the, the legendary heroes of Sword and Shield were, were fucking werewolves this entire time? Like, legendary... Like... Like, like, like an American werewolf in London. That's why I thought of it. Because that's going to be the twist, isn't it? That makes so much sense now. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's both of them, too. Oh, I wonder who does... Grilled! Pip, pip, shirio and such. That's great. Can we catch him and move on with the game now? All right, Hop, you take the one that looks like it's going to chew your face off. I'll take the one that looks like it's going to chew my face. Aww. That's why you're not fast enough, Hop. I blame you, Hop. It noticed you weren't worthy. It was totally accepting of me. You weren't worthy. Okay. Listen, I dug into the literature from some other regions, and I found something interesting. So, apparently, Rayquaza fought an alien, but then I also looked into this other region, and it turns out that this guy named N tried to take over the world with a giant floating castle. There's a lot of weird shit that happens in the world, but then I found out that there's a Pokemon called Zykian, and a shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. Oh, Zamazenta is a way cooler name. I'm glad I picked Shield, 100%. Shield is the better game. You get freaking Melanie, and you get Zamazenta. Shield is the better of the two. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but shields block swords. Damn it. I know the world's coming to an end, but we gotta fish first. This better be a magic carp. Ah, oh, it's a barbaroach. I have one of those already. Now the music changed. And now it's morning. Uh, okay. Well, no, I guess the slumbering weld is just in the f deep forest, so it's usually dark. 
Ooh. Okay, that actually does look pretty badass. It's like the grave of the heroes. Once again, keep in mind, I lived next to this place literally my entire life. You think I would have snuck in here as like a little kid at one point and just found my way here. I probably would have gotten killed by one of those giant wheezings. I dare say, boy, you are far from home. And then it just explodes. <laughs> Poisons me. A broken sword and a broken shield. What could they possibly mean? It's the master sword. Yeah, Sir Fetched, I really wanted to get Sir Fetched, but I think Sir Fetched is only in Sword. That's the one thing Sword's got going for it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Are we playing Breath of the Wild all of a sudden now? Okay. I say the prophecy has been fulfilled. All right, well, where are we, where are we going now? One other aspect of this game I really like is it tells you where you need to go. All right, hammer lock. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll just... Oh, my... God. Wait. Nope, not my league card. I don't want to look at my sexy self. Uh, okay, maybe a little bit. I've made one kind of curry. Yeah, did you get really into the whole camping uh, aspect of this game? Because, yeah, I didn't. But if you did, maybe. You know, every game comes out. Like, it's the, you know, the equivalent of, like, the contests or whatever. Yes! I also loved how they made the escape rope just a key item. You just, you don't have to buy a million freaking escape ropes. You have a escape rope. You can use it. All right. Wait, they have flying taxis? Well, I've been calling them crow copters, but yeah, they do. Because you see, it's a little, it's a corn van crow that's using it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now this is final boss music. This is, holy shit, this was the bad guy the whole time trying to take over the world music right here. This is good. I, I like this. I like the vibe of this. Who's out front? Jolly's out front. Oh, Jolly hasn't been healed. Well, let's fix that up right now, shall we? I know there's a Pokemon Center right there, but I don't want to go in. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. What do you want? All right, let's go. Oh, hey, Ryan. What's going on? What are you standing out here for? Yeah, you guy kicked me out of my gym. So, just to, um... Just to recap, he's pumping Dynamax energy into the air to make it, like, a dark day. And why is he doing this? To vent it so it doesn't happen in the future? I, I, I'm just, I don't really get 100% of this. Hop! No! Don't go rushing ahead! All right, 12-year-old kid. Well, you're pretty good at Pokemon, so I guess you should probably be able to stop this Chernobyl-level disaster. If you start getting the radiation sickness, maybe you should lie down a little bit. All right, I'm just going to stay out back here. Oh, hey, Califa, what's going on? Science! Too lazy to go to a Pokemon Center. That's why America has no health care. It's not laziness, it's holy crap, I got hurt, I don't want to go to the hospital because I don't want to have to pay all this money. Alright, power plant collapsing. Still, this couldn't have waited until after the whole thing, alright. Alright, so let me ask, I don't care about this explanation, just tell me one thing. If I defeat Rose in a Pokemon battle, will all of this get fixed? Well, yes, absolutely, of course. Everything gets solved with Pokemon battles. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Open the vault door there, Chief, and uh, I shall take care. Do, 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 do. I wonder what his battle music's gonna be. I hope I don't have to do a bunch of bullshit fights getting in here. I think if I could just walk up to the guy and just... Okay, this is looking fun. This is looking like a final... Oh my god, these are like spent plutonium rods. I should... I feel like I should not be down here without like some kind of protective suit on. 
I'll be honest with you, Rose. I never thought you were the villain. I could have sworn thought it was going to be the, the secretary was going to pull like a, you know, like the, the sexy chick from Final Fantasy VII was going to pull like that. I'm the final villain the entire time kind of thing. I thought... I can't allow that, Teching. The champion is the one who needs to control Eternatus. Eternatus is a giant, big-ass dragon that will totally wreck the shit out of this world. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. But you don't understand. I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to assure everlasting prosperity. It's my purpose. My duty. My destiny. Okay, now you're starting to sound like... Kind of a... Yeah, it's like, it's my destiny to end the world. And for that, I'm going to just stop listening to you now. Let's, let's do this. Oh, he's straightening his tie. Oh, God, this is getting... Oh, look at his gut. Let's just listen to this theme for a second. I love the choir. Whoa. Oh, that thing. I know what that thing is. That's from that's from uh, Gen 6, isn't it? All right. Pretty sure it's a water type. Well, we'll find out in a second. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double yeah. You're pretty tough. Yes. Entirely too tough, though. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. Oh, man, I am digging the choir music in the... I am digging, like, the Death Note choir music in the... Holy shit! Oh, I know, that was Drill Run. What? Okay. Floppy. Yes, fire. Fire! Lots of fire! And then after that fire, more fire. Kick the fire to him. It gets it faster. The fire isn't fast enough. Kick it! All right. As long as I have you guys with me here, I think I can do this. Okay. Clink, clink. Oh, yeah. More fire. All the fire. Clink, clank. Clink, clank. Good thing there's a pebble down here in this nuclear reactor. But you! Oh, I love you, Floppy. Okay, good, good. I'm glad Floppy was the first person to reach level 60. Feral, oh my god, you are aching to get your ass kicked by fire types today, are you not? Ferrothorn looks like it should be grass steel. I don't think it is, but it looks like it should be. Okay, you know what this actually reminds me of? There's an anime called Quasar of Stigmata. This is reminding me of the second opening, which starts off with this awesome choir. It's an anime about people drinking breast milk to gain superpowers, which, you know, obviously I love. But, you know, like, it, it's reminding me of that. It is! It is! It was quad weak to fucking fire! Oh, God. Drink all that Soma! That guy got the reference. I used an HP up on, uh, or a PP up on Pyroball, which is why it has six. But yeah, Pyroball is great. Oh, man. No natural decks. You know, I didn't get that upset by it. I mean, yeah, there are a few Pokemon I would have loved to be in this game. Like, my favorite Pokemon's Porygon. I don't think he's in this. Um... But, you know, I've never been someone to, like... I only collected all the, po all the Pokemon once, and I do not care to ever do it again. So, I collected all the Pokemon in Gen 6. I got an X. I have a completed file. But, you know, I, I don't need the National Dex. And, you know, the Pokemon that they did choose from the other Gens, I think were some top picks. They, they brought back, like, the fan favorites, like Gyarados and Vanillish. I was happy they had that. And, you know, um... Agislash, I saw an Agislash, Pangoro, all, all the guys I think that are the most famous out of all the gens, so I, I think this was a good one. Copper Jaw. I wonder if he's made of steel. I wonder. Nico Robin gives me a PP up. Alright, we doing this, buddy? Alright. Oh, you're not gonna Dynamax? Alright, you're lost, buddy. 
Dynamaxing inside of a what is a basically a nuclear reactor. That does not sound smart in the slightest. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at him looking down. He's just like, I oh my god, it just has to step on it. Uh-huh. Here we go. I do find it funny that it makes the Pokeball huge and they have to throw it like a beach ball. I find that hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, is a copper type weak to fire? Actually, what has a higher melting point? Steel or copper? I feel like... Steel might. I don't know. Oh, man, I'm heating... Oh, yeah, increasing the heat in a nuclear reactor. That's smart. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But I got this because I'm floppy and I am awesome. I'm sorry. I'm yelling a lot in this, aren't I? Well, kind of a bit too late for that one. Like, three hours into it. Thanks, you guys, for sticking with me for so far. 1,400 people are watching me. I didn't think the stream was gonna go this long. I thought this... I, I didn't think we are gonna do all this bullshit in between. I'm sorry. But this is fun. This is great. Ah. To the bitter end, everybody. To the bitter end. Alright. Okay. Well, it gave me $11,000. I can't hate him that much for causing the apocalypse. Most impressive king tech. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. But I just couldn't wait ten minutes. I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything, but it can't be helped. I have to solve the energy issue. I have to awaken the dragon. So that whole battle I just had with you really had no point. I was going to do it anyway. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. All right, are we, are we, are we going to get to the giant dragon or are we not? Come on, let's let, wake up, freaking Giratina, or whatever the hell you're doing. I, I don't know here. Oh, hop. Yay. Hi, my backup's here. Wait, way to go. Good job. I am saved. I am so happy. Throw your sheep at him. The sheep will absorb the radiation. And I'm just going to heal up here. Pop a few revives. Thanks for giving me time to do this. Rose is like, oh, absolutely, of course. I wouldn't I wouldn't dream of you battling against the great dragon with, uh, you know, a, a fainted Pokemon. I mean, come on now. Okay, I have no idea what this dragon is going to be, but I'm going to throw out Scoopy just because dragon. Why are dragons weak to ice? I think the only... Because I don't think that it, make, it makes any sense why dragons are weak to ice. I think the only reason why is because in Generation 1, they were like, oh, shit, dragons are OP. What are we going to make dragons weak to? Uh, other dragons. Like, well, yeah, but we have to give something else. I'm like, okay, what about ice? I'm like, okay, fine. So from that point onward, dragons are weak to ice. Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posy. Oh, no. Oh, no. We all fall down. Get it? Get it? Because his name's Rose, and I did in a pocket it Rose because Rosie, and it's... Yep, just... Yeah! I will Jojo pose the hell out of this dragon. Oh wait, wait, what am I doing? Do I not do I not fight the dragon? Oh my god. Alright. Can't ride my bicycle in a nuclear reactor. I could have a giant ass Pokemon battle and almost set the whole place on fire, but I can't ride a damn bicycle in a reactor. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I know they're weak to fairy now. That's why fairy... I think, actually, that's why fairy was introduced to be another type. Because, like, for so long, dragons were incredibly overpowered. Wait, what? Oh, that was an elevator. Come on, Hop. Could have at least taken me to the upper floor. There we go. All right. There we go. That's what I'm... Oh, my God! It's like a skeleton dragon. That actually looks pretty damn badass. It's like if you, like, ripped out Rayquaza's, like, skeleton. Rayquaza, 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 what do you prefer? 
Do you like Ray Quay Quay or Ray Qua Qua? Hold on, I'm gonna try to get more comfortable here. I've been sitting on the edge of my bed for the last three hours. All right. All right, you can't see it right now, but I'm in a very comfortable position to save the world. <laughs> Did Rose make that? I, I don't even know. Whoops, sorry. Bump the mic there. <sighs> All right. Man, I'm sitting on a bunch of pillows. I got my freaking hamper as a footstool. I am I am very comfortable right now. Isn't it an Ultra Beast? I'm pretty sure we're not doing the Ultra Beast thing anymore. I think the Ultra Beast fad kind of died out. I wasn't a fan of the Ultra Beast thing, the whole Pokemon from other dimensions thing. Not my, uh, not the thing I was really into. All right, I'm going to assume it's not going to work. Oh, yeah, let's catch this legendary dragon in a normal-ass Pokeball. That won't fail miserably. Stand back, kids. Charizard, do it! No! Oh, no, it broke the Pokeball! There's nothing we can do now! There's no other... Be There's no other containment devices! Nothing! Get Sylphco on the phone! All right, it's still... I don't know. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Pokemon or Ultra Beast? I know it's a dragon. And if there's one damn thing I know about these games... Dragons hate ice cream. That looks very painful! Oh, okay, it wasn't as painful as I... Oh, my God. That was like... That was like a Gallic gun. <laughs> okay. It's dead. I didn't need a dragon. Screw that. Okay. Oh, is it going to go into a final form? Whoa! I still have minimal ideas on what's going on here. What the f... Um... Okay... So, question, if these giant metal crates are floating, how come the, like, 90-pound kids are not floating? That's my question. Holy shit. This is like the final boss battle in, like, Persona 5, where I'm fighting against God. I'll just shoot him in the face like I did in that game, and everything will be good. Oh, man. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Now, for a second there, I kind of did, yeah. Yeah, okay, Hop. Tell you what, you work as a damage sponge. I'll stay in the back and, uh, yeah. I was totally gonna throw a Pokeball at it just to see if it would work. <laughs> just throw a freaking, just throw the Pokeball at this giant thing. Okay, I'm gonna probably die. Oh, I got my health back. Cool. All right. All right. Oh, it's gonna do this crap. All right. Well, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's gonna not let us do anything until it just kills us. Yeah. Okay. So let's just ride it out. There we go. Oh, you think you could have told me that back before we? Hop! Get your shit together! Okay. 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 Pretty wolves. Oh, okay. This music's getting good. Da -da 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 Sounds like the ending credits should start up right about now. 
So, are we under an agreement we're fighting against, like, a giant hand right now? Whoa! Awesome sauce! Ah! Oh, magic floating swords! Magic floating shields! Keep in mind, this is a Pokemon game, just in case you forgot. Whoa! Oh shit! We're Mega Evolving! Mega Evolve! Agumon! Warp Digivolve too! War Greymon! Garurumon! Warp Digivolve too! Metal Garurumon! Raw! All right, let's kick the ass out of the evil dragon that exists now. Oh, is this like a quad battle now? What the hell? Do I control two Pokemon? Is it like a double battle? Like, okay. I mean, we could roll with that. All right, um, I'm still controlling Scoopy-Doo, so avalanche it. Uh, okay, I guess they're doing their own thing. Alright, you guys use your status buff. Oh, thank you! And then it's probably gonna boost our defense. Zamazenta! I do like that as a name for a Pokemon. Zamazenta. Next to Zygrade is my favorite. I like Z names. Zygarde or Zygrade? Zygrade, Zygarde, Zygrade, Zygarde. Keep it up, man! Oh, yeah, beat the crap out of that dragon with a sheep. That's gonna do great, Hop. Bring it! Oh, this is gonna take a while. I need to Dynamax. Oh, I can't Dynamax shit. Alright, well, at least we can get home field advantage. Oh, these things are gonna help. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. This blade is burning blue. Oh, I'm kicking this music. This is awesome, man. Shield do crash you. Oh, thank you for not targeting the ice cream cone with that. Here we go. Get rid of that shit. Hop that stupid fucking sheep isn't gonna do shit. Da 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 da. Use your goddamn starter. Da na da na 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 na. Well, actually. I wonder if I could freeze the giant dragon. 10% chance. Behemoth for blood. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I mean, I'm not using my starter either, but that's because I'm doing type advantage. You're using a damn normal type. Last time I checked, hey guys, let's do a little refresher course for poor old Hop here. What's normal effective on? Yeah, what's super effective to normal? Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of a fresher course here. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, yeah. You can't hurt my boy. Go go power wolves. Ah, oh, that took a chunk out of it. Did it freeze it? I would have laughed so hard if I froze the giant dragon. Hop is eight shades of useless in this fight right now. I'm just gonna keep doing the freaking ice beam. Absolutely goddamn nothing! Hop, we're gonna have a talk after this is over. I'm gonna tell freaking your big brother Leon that you went into a fight with a. Jo You've attained the powers of a gods! And you're still choosing to use a damn sheep as your main Pokemon. You don't know how to Pokemon, Hop. You do not know how to Pokemon. 
I would, I would seriously say Ash Ketchum would at least be, this would be like if Ash Ketchum throws out his freaking Grimer or his Muck here instead of the damn freaking Pikachu. Damn. Oh, we're catching it? All right, fine. Um, throw like the shittiest ball I have. Yeah, throw the moon ball. Let's, let's use a moon ball. The ball that literally works on like eight Pokemon in the entire game. Go! If this works, this would be the most useful a moon ball has ever been. Suck it up! Gotta suck it up! Gotta suck up the giant dragon! Catch you! Move! Roam! Roam! It worked! I caught a freaking legendary with a moon ball! Damn straight! Oh my god, Kurt. Your balls wasn't in vain, Kurt. Oh, man. Alright, that's cool. Hey, can I get the... Alright, or just fly away into the sunset. Alright. That's pretty, I guess. Okay, so defeat a giant dragon sops a nuclear meltdown. Okay, I'll just roll with that then. Alright. Uh, so, what were we doing before? Alright, oh, champion, yeah. There's the London Eye, or the Widen Eye, and Big Ben, or sorry, Big Ken, sorry. Oh, that was a busy last night. Yeah, I, I am pooped. I got home, took a shower, had some dinner, and I just hit the hay. Oh, by the way, I have a dragon god now. Yeah, I saved the world. Nothing major. Nobody need to praise me or anything here. I'd better have slept in the penthouse suite of this freaking hotel, I swear to God. Alright. Use it to fight Leon. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't use legendaries to fight champions. It's on. You know what? I think. It doesn't matter. I was going to get a change of outfit. I was going to change my outfit, but it's not like I could even wear it anyway. I am, uh... I will follow the traditions of Galar. I will do something else, though. Boost up the poison moves yet. And could give a fo focus sash to somebody. Hmm. There you go, Floppy. Alright. Full speed ahead, magical Rotom bike that I own. Ahead! It's King Tech. Alright, guys. You still with me? Three hours later? Are you still with me? All oh, right, finally. All right. Well, many delays aside and saving the entire world. Let's do this. You don't tell me what to do. Change into the freaking uniform. I'll wear whatever I damn please. All right, here we go. I was going to have Jolly out in front. I want to stay with that. Okay, here we go. Number one. Well, I'm number 101, bitch.
Yeah. I, I, I know my record, Leon. I know my record. I know what I've done. All right, let's do this. End it out, boys. Time to go, full power. Look at that magnificent man. All right, starting off with an Agis Slash. Uh, not the greatest combo here. Great, thanks, Rondel. All right, I'm gonna have to switch out here, cause yeah. Damn it. Had to be a damn Agis Slash. Here we go, guys. All right, he's going to battle mode here. All right. Blade for me. It's not blade form. It's blade for me. Ow. Ow! Oh, it's level 62. Oh, shit. I might lose this. Gotta bring it full power, then. Go, max power boost! Yeah! That actually worked that I switched out because it would have still been in shield form when I did that. If I just used... Uh, floppy right out of the gate. That's bad. That's not bad. Ghost. I hope his Charizard's not like level 70 or some shit. Haxorus! Uh, hold on. Magical Pokedex powers! Haxorus is hacks, yo. Oh, it's just pure dragon. All right, cool. Pure dragon, yeah, we can help. We can handle that. Scoopy Doo, go ahead. Yeah, we got this, buddy. I was thinking it was like a dragon ground type for some reason. Ice beam away. Oh, no. Come on. You can. You got this. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have given freaking Scoopy the focus sash. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, that was a crit. Huh. All right, let me think about this here. Hmm. All right, plan two. Plan B. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Well, I have nine of the damn things. I might as well use them. Yeah, go ahead. Do your... Th oh! Well, I had my... Ch oh! You blind bitch! Yes! Ah! Oh my god, that's beautiful. It missed twice in a row and I got a critical draining kiss. Oh my god! 75% accuracy, suck a dick, Hoxorus! Okay, yeah, Dragapult. That sounds like a dragon type. Let's keep it rolling! Uh, okay, why does it have a boomerang for a head? I don't care. I don't care. It's dying. I will kiss you to death. Is that super effective on fairy? Ah, uh, yeah! No! Oh, <laughs> Sylphina, you were gonna be the carrier in this! Well, maybe not, but damn, girl. Damn, girl. You know where it's at. I'm gonna keep it rolling. 
Come on, one HP. Leave me with one HP and I could take this out. Yes! Beautiful! Do 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 I love this! By all logic! That Iron Tail should have killed me. That Shadow Ball should have killed me. I'm part Psychic type, for God's sake. Oh, man. This is amazing right now. Keep it rolling! Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Mime is my cousin. Teeter Dance. Teeter Teeter. Teeter Teeter. Oh, okay. Well, let's see where this goes. Ah, damn it. All right. That should not be super effective on me. Ah, but it was... Yeah, okay. Sylphina, Sylphina, you did your job, girl. All right, that's psychic type, right? So we need a ghost move. Well, I have just the thing. Phantom of Force. Yeah, it's an ice type. It's gonna hurt me, but it shouldn't kill me. Yeah, we're good. Womp. Sup? Yeah! Ghost Robot got a win! Okay! I don't know what that is, so we'll see what it is. That, uh, I... Water electric, maybe? Max revive Sylphina! Bring her back! I need to see what this thing can do. Water type? Alright. Pure water. Okay. Jolly? It's time to get Holly and Jolly up in here. I should be able to... Oh, shit. All right. Looks like we're doing this the freeze-dry route. You saw what I did to Nessa, right? This isn't going to end well for you. That's right. Scoopy-Doo's back from the dead. What the hell does that do? What? Um, okay, that was... All right. Well, this is gonna hurt. All right! Snipe shot, damn. Oh! Yeah, but it's... It's a one-hit KO move. I'm not... I can relearn at any time. That's the great thing about this game. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. That's why I saved Dreadnought just for this. Now... To be fair, this Pokemon is, like, perfectly engineered to fight against a Charizard. It is a rock water type. That is, like, the perfect Pokemon to throw out against a Charizard. So I'm thinking it's going to have some kind of ability to fight against this thing. Now, I think Dreadnought is only... I think it's weak to, um... Well, it would be weak to grass. But I highly doubt a Charizard is going to know a grass move. Would it be weak to steel? I could see it knowing Iron Tail or Steel Wing or something. Oh, Solar Beam, right. It could totally know a damn Solar Beam. Well, this is the best shot I have, really. Um, Sylphina is waiting in the wings. Uh, Floppy... Ah, uh, Floppy's... Actually, my team is not looking too good right now. I got two down Pokemon of slow ass fairy um a fire type at half power and scoopy doo's like one step away from being melted so i'm risking a lot on this but i'm going to dynamax uh, big blue and see where it goes yeah 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 all right leon here we go 
It Mega Evolves and then Dynamaxes and uses a Z move. Max Geyser. All right, I've seen this in all the promotional art, so this this thing looks badass as shit. Oh my god. That is that is like Igneal. That is straight out of freaking Fairy Tale right there. I mean, I love Fairy Tale's artwork, so damn, that looks awesome. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, I should have probably used Rockfall on that one. Well, if I survive, I'll use it. What the actual fuck is that? Oh, wait. Dynamax Solar Beam is a freaking... You gotta be shitting me. I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. I knew it. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta rethink some shit here. You stay tight. You don't move. I have to rework with some shit here. Gah! I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. Yeah, all right. You do. Yeah, you waste your Dynamax. You burn it out. You do. You know what? I got like seven freaking max revives here, Leon. How many max revives do you got? All right. I'm not planning on using them after this. Um. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Throw out, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting him to burn out Dynamax here because the Dynamax doesn't last forever. I'm just waiting for him to burn it out. Unless Leon is special and his nevers burns out. Okay. He's got Solar Beam. That's a given. He has a Solar Beam. Probably a fire move. Like, probably not going to be Blast Burn. Probably going to be, like, Overheat. Maybe Flamethrower. It's some kind of fire move he's going to have, definitely. Um... I'm feeling like it's going to be at least one flying move in there, too. So, fire would be super effective on Scoopy-Doo. Grass on Big Blue. Jolly would be weak, too. Uh, it knows a rock move, too. So, Jolly would be weak, too. No, Jolly would be weak to ground, not rock. Yeah, Jolly, I think, would be okay. Yeah, because unless it knows a ground move, which I don't think it does. Yeah, okay, wildfire, yeah, whatever, whatever. Do your shit, whatever, I don't care. Now I'm just meditating the whole concept, but whatever. Oh no, you melted my ice cream. Whatever shall I do? Alright. Yeah, Jolly is my best bet, it seems to be the consensus here. Alright, cool, we'll, we'll throw out Jolly then. Alright, Jolly will uh, be my best bet then. Because a flying move, flying won't hurt it. Fire wouldn't hurt it. I mean, it'll hurt it, but not super effective. There we go. All right, and I got done with that crap. Sandstorm's gonna be annoying, and they're both lucky. Okay, level sixty. I mean, okay, let's start by. Hey, let's poison it. Let's start with that. Ha! Shitty accuracy, bro. Is that the only fire move you have? All right, let's start with poison, and then the Venom Shock route. Let's try that. Oh yeah, you're gonna be buffeted too. Oh, I didn't know that was an effect, but I got. There we go. All right, Venishock time. All right, that's going to hurt, but it shouldn't kill me. Shouldn't kill me. Yes. Come on. Oh, holy shit. Oh, kill it. Kill it with the sandstorm. Yeah. I did it. Wow. You killed yourself with your own sandstorm, you idiot! Double, 
double KO! Oh yeah, I probably should have used Discharge on that. Yeah, no, no, no. I think the Toxic with the Venishock bonus, I think it did a decent amount. Yep! Aha! Do I pick up his hat? Only $15,000, Leon, really? Just 15000 I can't even afford a motorcycle jacket in the frick store for that. Oh, I can't believe that worked. That sandstorm was the thing that actually did it. I, I mean, I would have won regardless. I would have just thrown out Sylphina. Well, Sylphina wouldn't have been fast enough. I would have had to throw out Sylphina and then Max Revive Jolly and then just go back to that. And he would have probably used a full restore at that point, and we would have been right back at square one. That would have probably just came down to a battle of attrition with me constantly bouncing back and forth, reviving Jolly until he ran out of full restores or whatever. Uh, yeah, but I did it with minimal use of items, actually. Oh, we did it. Yep. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Cause we, oh, hey, Betty, are the champions of the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your mom li literally gives you more pocket money than you win in the championship. Yeah, didn't I have like 30000 at the start of the game? That's funny. Leon is kind of a cheap stake, I'll be honest with you. Or maybe being champion doesn't pay that well. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh good. Are we just cutting to the credits now? Oh, wow. Okay. You know, honestly, though... Honestly, that's the best way to end it. Just end it there at the champion. I mean, I'm sure there's post-game shit. Absolutely, of course. Um, oh, look, everybody's rocking out. That's great. But, you know, that's a great way to end the game. Just, we defeated the unbeatable champion. The battle was there. We caught the legendary Pokemon. Actually, we didn't catch the legendary Pokemon. That's the point. We caught the dragon. We didn't catch the shield or the sword. Um, so, yeah, there'll be post-game shit. Absolutely, of course. But in the max raids and everything. But... That is beautiful. This was a great game. I love this way more than I love Moon. Moon, I just didn't feel it. I really didn't. I played through the whole game, but I just didn't really feel it by the end of Moon. I just It felt more like a, like a job to finish that game. I didn't get as into it as I did there. It took me a while to beat that game. Um, this this reminded me of when I played X for the first time. When I, 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 I Let me tell you a story. Uh, when X came out, I didn't have a 3DS, and I really wanted to play it. But I didn't have a lot of money back then. I didn't have a lot of money to buy. I mean, I had enough to buy it, but I'd have to buy the 3DS plus the game, and that was like 200 bucks. That was a lot of money for me back then. I was basically just living off of Dollar Tree at that point. Um, I wasn't really making that much money off YouTube yet. This was back in 2013. So one night I'm at work, right? And I'm sick. I feel like shit. I have like a thing in my throat. I'm coughing. I think I got a cold. I ended up getting a cold. Like, And my boss saw that I was sick, and she's like, Hey, Matt, you can go home early if you want. And I'm like, thanks, Jess. So I left like an hour early from work. And Walmart was right next door. And I'm thinking, you know, I have the next two days off of work. And I didn't have school. It was a weekend. And I'm thinking, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to spend my weekend sick. I already feeling I'm, I'm going to wake up tomorrow sick as a dog. I'm going to spend my weekend sick in my bed playing Pokemon X. So I immediately, I went to Walmart. I bought the 3DS. I bought Pokemon X. It was like $200. Took money out of my savings account. I, it was, you know, I, I didn't have that much money. But I bought it anyway. Went home, and just that feeling of just sitting in my bed, sick, in the nice cozy bed in the middle of, like, November, playing Pokemon X or October or whenever it came out. I just love that feeling, you know? Because I didn't play Gen 5 when it came out. I, I skipped it. So, that was the first brand new Pokemon game I had played for since Heart Gold. So, Heart Gold was, like, 2010, 2009, and then this was X for, like, four years later. So, I just, I remember that feeling, and this game definitely approached that, that feeling of that more than Moon did. Oh, man, this is great. Get well soon. Well, I, no, I'm, I'm fine now. I was sick like four years ago, five years, no, six years. Oh, my God. Has it been six years since freaking Gen 6, since, like, Kalos? Holy crap. God, I'm old. Six? God damn. 
Wow. Five years since Omega Ruby. Yeah, what happened to Pokemon Shiny Diamond or Crazy Diamond or whatever you were going to call it? Oh, but this was great. European coordination. That's good. They had some European quality assurance, so they got shit down on the UK level. Pikachu voice, Eevee voice. I did catch an Eevee. Never used it. Never evolved it, but I had, a, I had an Eevee. Yeah, if you played Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu, they give you a free Pikachu or a free Eevee, depending on which one you played. So I had Let's Go Eevee last year. Oh yeah, and Let's Go Eevee, I mean, Pokemon games are always children games, but Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, I mean, that was a pretty... I mean, it was a fun game, I enjoyed it, but they really... It, it was basically like them making Go into a mainstream Pokemon game. That was basically what it was. And it, it was great for... It was fine for what it is. Um, I had a friend who has a little kid, and... You know, this little kid's like six, you know, so they're like, are you excited to get Pokemon 2? Because, you know, they played Pokemon Let's Go last year, and now this is the newest Pokemon game, so they're like, Pokemon 2's coming out. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, Pokemon 2 is coming out, yes. Oh, man, rank it. Oh, that's cool, all the different logos and shit in the game. Um, rank it? Um, Gen 2 is my fave. I would probably rank this solid... I would go Gen 2, Gen uh, Gen 6, and then this. Because I did have a lot of, a lot more fun playing Gen 6. But this is, like, the third favorite in the game for me. All right. Well, tell you what. I'm actually going to end the stream here. This has been going on for almost three and a half hours. Longer than I ever thought this was going to be. But I appreciate everybody hanging out here. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my throat is kind of dead right now. I know I have some super chats. Um, tell you what, next time I do a stream, I think I'll get to the Super Chats. But I really appreciate everybody just hanging out here. Um, yeah, my throat is pretty much dead, so... Oh, I've been screaming way too much, too. And then there's my team right there! Perfect! Oh, wait, light it up a little bit. There we go! There's my team! The, the shield logo is kind of covering up there. There we go! <laughs> the shield logo is kind of covering that up. All right, well, you guys have a great night. If you haven't played Pokemon Sword or Shield, I would definitely recommend it. Um, great game. You will be very impressed with the graphics and uh, just the up of that from the 3DS level. Great game. Definitely check it out. I prefer Shield, obviously. Remember, if you get Sword, you cannot go up against Melanie. And Melanie is the perfect woman, of course, so keep that in mind. So, all right. Attacking 101, signing out. You guys have a absolutely fantastic night. Whew, can't believe I came in clutch with that freaking, with Sylphina there. That was crazy.